Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Eh, welcome back, Achievers. You're all Achievers today. Welcome back to your Easy mm. Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of September 9th. Oh my god, it's already September. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, of course, sitting across from me digitally, like always. Alex, how are you, you doing? I'm pretty good. I, there's a, a lot to talk there's about. There's a lot to talk about. Let's <laughs> get to our special guest. The player oh, two to my player one. EJ Sponge, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing okay. Emmett oh, Watkins I'm... Jr., how are you? <laughs> I'm doing really good. I'm doing okay, really yeah, good. Are. Yeah, you caught me off guard with the subdued vibes, but yeah, I'm feeling it, man. There is <laughs> a hell of a lot to talk about. I gotta and... keep it, like, leveled. We got yeah, probably man. hour plus ahead of us, and I gotta, oh, like, yeah, yeah. you know, you can't really, like, you shoot it, it all out at once. You gotta kind of... I feel you. Like, I thought you were going into... I like thought you were going sniper. into like quiet storm mode. Mm. It's, like, it's it's one thing with EVM. It's all improv, man. There's no there's there's no, there's no uh, plan. To there's this no stuff. digital board. You know that they, those people use. You got to read line by line. No. Yeah. Digital board. Here. What did you just say? I forget what they're called. The prompt. The screen prompt thing. Oh, the teleprompter. teleprompter. <laughs> Thank you. The teleprompter. Okay. Yeah. Well, the points are all made up. They don't matter. It's fine. Yeah. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Whose line? Fucking uh, Emmett, what a man. Greatest Emmett is cool television as shows fuck. ever. Uh, <laughs> Let me tell you. Oh, so I, everyone loves Who's Line. Everyone, everyone who's worth their salt Everybody. is, go, is yes. a fan of Who's Line. If you're listening to this and you're a fan of Who's Line, <laughs> you fuck. If you don't, <laughs> I don't fuck with you. I'm sorry. Who's Line oh, is like... That. Oh, my God. It's classic. The Who's Line podcast is next week. This is the EG Streamers <laughs> Game Podcast, of course, coming to you. On all your free services every single Friday, and of course on Patreon early, as soon as we get it recorded. This one is a little later than usual, of course, because, Emmett, mm-hmm. we had the PlayStation showcase mere hours oh, yeah. from when we're recording right now, and we're going to talk about that full-on showcase and more. Big right showcase. now, I'm going to call an audible and save what we've been playing for the middle of the show, because I want to get into the showcase first. So of course, the PlayStation Code case was today, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. We all watched it. We all enjoyed it, I assume, right? Emmett, do you oh, enjoy yeah. it? Yeah, we'll talk about it. Very like, succulent offering, like, yes. Oh, my God, it was so <laughs> succulent. Dripping, some say. Alex, you enjoyed it? <laughs> Let's just say that I was in the middle of doing laundry and trying to watch my kid, and I was like, I pushed my kid out the way to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's at least push your kid out good, at least. Yeah. Now, yeah. I was like, quit. Stop. I'm watching something. Let's just let's just start. They they first off open with Knights of the Old Republic. This is a remake. Um, oh. and they also announced it's a timed exclusive for PS4 yeah. and PS4. Oh well PS5. Don't know. Just PS5, they, I believe. Yeah, yeah, just PS5. I don't believe PS4. And um As Aspire, yep. I believe it. Aspire is As- doing it. Aspire remake. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um not much details I could find about this, but it looks like full we'll remake. We're getting the game i'm pretty hyped we've known this is happening mm-hmm. but yeah from what they, yeah from what they've said i mean it's not just like a remaster you know they completely reworked all the visuals and everything so it's a good remake uh remake curious if they're gonna go with the final fantasy 7 remake option with the remake and just completely change the combat system i, think, I assume I think that's they what will. they're doing i assume i, think I hope so doing. yeah i don't think they're doing turn-based i think they're gonna probably no. have an optional Honestly? turn-based type thing, but I think they're going to take a lot of Final Fantasy VII remakes Avenue and just go straight mm-hmm. up like it's kind of. They will do like Jedi Fallen Order. Really? No, no. Like, okay, it's nah, crazy, nah. but like like free like that. Mm, I, I could see them doing something similar to Final Fantasy VII, or like, or like the remake specifically, just where they have it to be a little bit of a hybrid, where it's not so directly action-based, but if you want to play it that way, you can. Mm. Um, I think they might still want it to be, you know, some type of strategy involved. I don't think they're going to just straight up have it be an action combat game like Fallen Order. But yeah. I hope they move that way because I I didn't play the originals. And yeah, same. S- since the last movie, I haven't really been much of a Star Wars person. Um, I have a co- I have a very short yet complicated history with Star Wars. So mm. I don't know if I'm even excited for this. Mm. Um Interesting, but yeah, it's it. I, it looks like it's going to be a good game. I hope it comes out and it satisfies those that are looking towards it. But for me, I'm like, all right, that's fine. I, I'll see what happens with it. Knights of the Old Republic was a fantastic game, especially for the time. I don't know if it ages well. I tried going back to it 
Um, and it's it is it, it's pretty rough. Um, and it's yeah. super super. And <clears throat> when I mean like role playing game, it's like role playing game. Like you're rolling di- like the game's rolling dice. I think in the background and stuff, like giving you randomized mm-hmm. events and stuff. It's interesting. Super weird. It's it's kind of cool, but I think we're getting like almost a complete. Oh, I mean almost a complete similar mm-hmm. to Seven Remake and like Resident Evil kind of too, sort of in that remake vein. Next up. Yeah. Project Eve, it looks like Bayonetta. Mm. I mean, ooh, y'all thought Bayonetta, yes. really? Yeah, what? What I, DMC Devil May Cry? I, I went know. to near first. I was gonna say, I thought it was a near slash. Yeah. Okay, like, like yeah, mm. I thought it was a near game. Okay, I mean, yeah, a near. I don't know. I guess I think too synonymously with those two. Probably more it's, than I well, should. Once they but... were showing the atmosphere, it looked like near. But once they showed like the com or the combat or just the way it was di- a little di- like very different, I was like, oh, okay, it's more like you said, like Bayonetta type Ninja Gaiden type stuff. The yeah. combat Even reminded fight. me of Souls like, honestly. Of what? What is it? The combat reminded me of like a Souls like, like a oh, oh the- yeah. Mm. Specifically went to the Final Fantasy Origins game that got announced mm-hmm. earlier this year. Like it looks mm-hmm. like that Chaos? combat, like. Yeah, yeah, the chaos. The one with the chaos. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Chaos, but okay. the combat looks very similar to that. So uh, I mean, it looks fun, and I'm really digging the the vibes I get from it. Are as far as production quality goes, it reminds me of that Xbox game that the sequel is getting announced for. What God? What is it called? Uh, it's the, the first Xbox person guys, shooter. So. Uh, you're well, ba- you're yeah. baiting me here. Like, what, what, it's what it's a first-person about? shooter. It's independent. I think it's made by one okay. person. I think it's like F Mod Studio oh, or something. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Infinite something. Uh, it, it, the words oh, in oh, there. Oh, oh. Um, you, I know what you're talking about. Fa- it's it's uh, like 30 minutes long. Yeah, I know exactly. No, no, it's, yeah, it's like, the first one is 30 minutes. Yeah. yeah. It's like something uh, light or something like that. It was like the first one's like $7. I, I just I remember seeing it. Uh, hold on. I'm, I'm just going to bother shit. I mean, this is I'm, the debut title by Shift Up Studios. Uh, we haven't heard of them before, and I didn't hear anything about this game previously. So this was a complete surprise to me. Uh, and it's called Project Eve, so we'll see what the actual final title is. It looks interesting. I love DMC, yeah. and I did get that kind of vibe, but I couldn't really get into Nier. So if it is more Nier-like, probably won't get super into it. This seems like it'll be a lot more actiony, where near replicant especially is just it's combat, but it's a lot of like story and slow walks through empty places. <sighs> but uh, automata is a lot more actiony. This seems yeah. even more actiony than automata. So mm-hmm. uh, I'm 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 messing with it. I, I'll see what what goes on with it. I'll see how development looks. But this definitely feels like it'll hit the spot for me at least. <laughs> it's gonna hit the spot for him. Hey, <laughs> definitely. 2K Gearbox is next. They present T- Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Comes out March 25th. I mean, I, I mean, come on. This game looks incredible. This has magic with giant Borderlands guns. I, I can't. What else do you want from a game? This looks awesome. And that does look fun. Yeah. It, it, it looks fun, but like in that way that Borderlands does it, where I, I'm just. I've gotten over the Borderlands humor, I'm sorry to say, mm. where I tried to play Borderlands 3, and I, I tried to play it on PS4, and it didn't really run particularly well on base PS4, and I have it on PS5 now with the free upgrade, but like, I don't know if I really am digging the over-the-top humor so, of that series enough to want to try and play through all of it finally. So, so. Emmett, I'm right there with you with the humor, especially because I, I will say Borderlands 1 and 2 did have fantastic esque humor now again i played that when i was a teenager so maybe going back i wouldn't love it but yeah borderlands 3 when people brought up the humor wasn't great i was like ah it's probably fine i played it, i was like uh i get what you're saying yeah this is kind of low-hanging fruit jokes where i do enjoy the mm-hmm. more uh what's a what's a word like a uh, full jokes i like a big payoff whereas this is kind of like huh shit funny thing yeah <laughs> ah get it I it, it's like, it's like there I, wasn't a lot of jokes, just a lot of punchlines. Yeah, yes, yes, that's a perfect yeah. way of saying it, Emmett. Yes, but um, I it can't. I can't wait for this because specifically, I loved that DLC, and if it's just Tiny Tina being Tiny Tina, which is usually my favorite part mm-hmm. of the game, anyways, then I'll take it. I, did you? You said you didn't play Borderlands, right? That much? Uh, I I played all. I platinumed one. I played all the deals, almost all the DLC for two. Oh, so Three is the one that I haven't. Yeah, I, I think I, I know the DLC you're talking about where she's yeah. going through a D&D campaign. Mm-hmm. So this does feel like just the full-size version of that, uh, which is interesting. But 
I don't know, man. Just having it's still Borderlands at the end of the day it with is. just a medieval skin. No, it so is. you're right. Well, yeah, we'll okay. see what's up with it. But hey, Wanda Sykes is a robot, so <laughs> at, at least I'm a little Wait, interested. What? <laughs> For real? I don't know if you heard that because no. I heard her voice in the trailer, and the robot is the one who said that line. So I'm pretty oh, sure she's playing a robot. If Wanda Sykes cool. is in this, that sounds awesome. Yeah, um, that that in the announcement trailer, her her name popped up. So I'm pretty sure she's that oh, robot. I can't believe I missed that. That's so hype. <laughs> Alex, thoughts? That's cool. I'm um, I played two. We well, yeah, we finished two. We've, we've but, played one and, like, and two together, just... and we played three. But you didn't see you. You seem to or enjoy it even less than I did. Yeah, it's like I like I. It was like a one-time game for me, but like this one, for some reason, like I enjoy the the medievalish style. But like, it's like, oh, it's like, why do you have guns? It's like, why not? <laughs> so I was like, I enjoyed <laughs> the funny. idea. Man. Yeah, very curious. Very. Curious. This is gonna come hmm. out and be good. And also, like, they get it. Portlands is good when it's funny, and I'm having fun. And three mm-hmm. kind of missed a lot of that. I I haven't even went back to the game. I think I I bought the season pass for it too. So like I bought it at launch, bro. Yeah, I'm down bad. Yeah, yeah. Like I, bought I was it so excited. I'm like, ah, oh, I probably should have fucking bought that. I've even mm-hmm. opened the game since I beat it. I didn't even reach max level either, which it. is the whole fucking point of the game. Anyway, I got to like level ten and stopped. It's so tragic. Oh. <laughs> Square and Luminous bring us Forspoken. This comes out spring 2022. This looks, this mm-hmm. looks really nice. This looks mm-hmm. very, very good. Very fast paced. Very magic based. Um, I, I'm usually not the guy with the uh. Oh, this is a person from your world in this magic realm, but it did seem like the writing was pretty good. So I, I, I will hold my judgment on that specific kind of storytelling, but I'm hyped for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bright memories that Thank game you. was bothering Fuck. me. That's it. Hey. Thank you. Oh my Bright God. memories it. I was trying Bright to memory pretend like I haven't been thinking about coming. it this that's whole why, time. That's why you see me doing this because I've been trying to search this thing yeah. the whole time. I was trying I to pretend Bright like memory I was thinking is the it original, the and then Bright Memory Infinite is I kept the, saying, a sequel to I kept this. saying light. I kept saying shadow. Yeah, I said I Ghost War beyond. Tokyo in my head seven times. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why I kept saying that. And it had the word infinite in it, but like it, nothing would pop up other than Halo, and it was aggravating. <laughs> <laughs> Xbox Infinite, yeah, that would have been frustrating. Yep, yep. yep. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, totally uh, getting similar vibes there. Thoughts on yeah. uh, Forspoken? Um, the combat looks awesome. It, it reminded nice. me exactly like Attack on Titan when she was whipping through the to the old town. Okay. And I was like, oh, mm. this is like Attack on Titan, but like with like magical powers. The ending was yeah. cool when she, when she's getting mm-hmm. wrecked by that um, little queen lady. The, I was like, that, boss. that looks awesome. Yeah, voiced mm-hmm. by Janina Evangar, I believe. Dang, you're on top yeah, that, of the voice actors yeah, today, I bro. Say, you I, bro. Go, I, I just didn't this. go off Twitter today. I, oh. I just didn't leave Twitter, that's okay. all. <laughs> that's how I find it out. You didn't uh, leave but yeah. Twitter today? Yeah, oh man. I live there most days, but like today <laughs> especially. Mm. Um, but yeah, I am super duper looking forward to Forspoken. Yep. Like, we're already going to talk about one franchise we thought would be here, but wasn't. This oh. gave me very similar vibes to this, just with the traversal where she's flying through the air, she's swinging off of stuff. Evan. That's what I like. If I can just, uh, if I can just fly at a video game, then mm-hmm. I don't care if it says Cole McGrath or not. <laughs> oh, he said his name too. Yeah, man. Pour the, one out for the, the homie. Shall not be named. Oh. But yeah, I'm super excited for this one. I don't know the story. I'm interested in because I usually am not one for fantasy at all. Right. Um, the only fantasy game I've ever liked was Skyrim. So like, really? I just don't pretty much. The yeah, there's other game. it's it's there's other fantasy games that I might have had a liking to. But like Skyrim is the one that I could say I loved outright. Um, but well, yeah, you're just, get it again. yeah, I'm getting it again <laughs> here. But the fact that I'm playing as someone from the modern world, I yeah. like that twist on it. And it actually gets me a little bit more interested in because that's kind of the perspective that I have as a player. That's true. So. It'll be a little bit cooler. And plus, it's giving me like Black Knight vibes, if you remember that Martin Lawrence movie. <laughs> mm. Does anyone uh, remember that Martin think, Lawrence movie? <laughs> I think I do shit. My dad yeah. is a huge Martin Lawrence fan. I know, fan. I know, I know Big Mama's knows. house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a classic. <laughs> that's long a story classic. short, that's a great one. Long story short, the, this is the one where he was like in a construction site, fell through a portal, ended up in the Middle Ages. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, that's the whole conceit. <clears throat> Martin Lawrence, where are you at? Where are you at, Martin? Chilling. Uh, he, he, he doesn't have to he, work he, anymore. Nope. He, he just did bad voice for life. So, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He did do that. I forgot. I gotta watch. I still haven't watched. I'm sorry, yeah. Emmett. I'm sorry to tell you that. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not gonna be too mad. Okay. It's it's the least good of all. Actually, it's the is second it? least good. I was about to say okay. two. <laughs> two is great. Two is the best one. 
but we're, that's sleep. an argument for later. Uh, that's our argument for later. That's our argument. <laughs> Rainbow Six Extraction, not quarantine. Forget about that. That's not that. Uh, it's extraction. Uh, I don't. What well, I mean, it's a game. It comes out January twenty second. I <laughs> I can't get excited for this. I, I don't. I, yeah, I can't. Am I, you excited for this at all? Not at all. Okay. Not I, even. I was going to say, I'm like, am I the only one that's like, I see this, I'm like, I I don't care. Like, this is clearly PlayStation, like, we got to pay some bills. Like, who wants I will to... acknowledge, uh, I, I was just going to say, it does look fun in the way that, like, this looks like the content that appeals to me, but I have no passion internally about it. Yeah. Like, on paper, this probably is a fun time if I was to play it, but, like, I could play 15 other games with yes. my friends, so, yep. like... Yeah, it is yep. what it is. There's so much I can play if I want to co op with something. Like, I'm not going to mm-hmm. pick this game up. Back for Blood's out no. in a month. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> that very yeah. okay game is Dude, coming that, out very soon. Yeah, I mean, that, no, that, it, that piqued my interest. <laughs> that beta, when we, I, I, the beta we played was, was fun, but it was like, oh, this feels like I'm going to play it like mm-hmm. three or four times and be like, all right, bye. Yeah. yeah that, was good. that was good. I mean, we're playing Aliens Fire Team right now, so. Yeah, it's a great game. Alan Wake Remastered. <laughs> Finally, is announced after being leaked. What Finally. seems like seven, ten times. Um, it seems like it's seems like it's only coming to PS4 and PS5. Well, it was mm-hmm. listed. I couldn't find specifically I, if it was listening to something else. I thought it was coming to. I think because it got leaked earlier this week. So I want to yeah, say in that Game leak. Store, right? I want to say there was an Xbox version in that leak. Give you know me what? just a second. Emmett, you're right. Yeah, hundred percent right. You, well, I have you know right how PlayStation. You know how PlayStation is, though. They only want to show their version. No, of so. course, of course, of course. You want to, you want to have PlayStation on the thing. That's why you get yeah. dummies like me who just go, "Is it just on PlayStation?" Yeah, Xbox, PC, PlayStation this fall. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Do y'all play the original at all? Oh, yeah. Did I? We're play waiting the on original. <laughs> Look, let's just say me. <laughs> let's just say me. It. Let's just say me and EVM. Literally, what was it? A couple days ago, we were like, "Alan Wake two in the next five years." I was like, I said yes. No. Mm. No. It's coming. It's coming. If they're doing a remaster. Okay. In the next five years, you're getting a continuation of the Alan Wake story. Is that going to be Alan Wake 2? Or is that going to be Control 2? Or is that going to be something else? (laughs) You're getting a cheap cop out, Emmett. (laughs) There's no way that they would bring back a remaster of this game and just and have it be part of the control universe they are continuing that i don't know how or why but they're continuing that story i i'm just saying there's, there's not a, there's not going to be an alan wake 2 that was the argument there will right. not be a game called alan wake 2 i said there will be like, con- control featuring alan wake probably <laughs> but there's not going to be some alan wake 2 yeah game. i would wake love that in five I years to that. the die we'll see that we'll see a sequel to alan wake mm-hmm. all right we'll see what are we betting on this I, mean, I will take this bet to... any day. I'm not see you all in five years. I'm, I mean, what you want? <laughs> what you want to bet? I don't know. I don't know. Twenty dollars. All right. Sure. Done. Uh, <laughs> I'm my <Greta>. witness. <laughs> <laughs> we'll both give Emmett twenty dollars. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see Emmett on Twitter later with a poll. He wins or he wins. <laughs> give me money. Yeah, yeah. Who cares? <laughs> it's a win for me. Grand Theft Auto Five, March twenty second. Uh, it did get delayed. It was gonna originally release this fall. Was delayed. Mm-hmm. Looks cool. Uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto like Five will 5. forever churn and keep coming as soon as it's making that money. Yeah, I will say Always. it was it was hilarious to a not get any confirmation on if this was finally going to be in sixty frames per second because yep. that's the one thing I care about for this. Yep. And two, it's the same game from 2013. Sure Why is. do you need to delay it? <laughs> it sure is. What happened? What ha- what's wrong? First off, I'm it's Rockstar. They definitely could have gotten away with releasing the game and giving it a patch later. So like, yeah, it is what happened to us like, oh, we got to delay it. Like, what are you delaying it for? <laughs> what's going yeah. on? I don't, yeah, I don't, it's weird with that, that game. I'm surprised. That, and people still buy it. Yeah, I people mean. love it. Blessing is one of them. I love that. I see him talking about it all the time. Grand Theft Auto. There's a pl- I follow plenty of people who still play that game. Your br- Alex, your brother still plays Grand Theft Auto? That's true. He was just on it like two, day, two three days ago. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like Fortnite where it's like, play something else. You pl- yeah. play, some, play something else. Give it a little while, play something else. Yeah. Too many games. Like, Those uh, were Tokyo is the next thing. It, it looks weird. It, it, it looks weird. I, I, when I, first I don't heard know how name the Tango I, Gameworks is developing, of course, being um, a, a I thought published it was, by I, Bethesda. I wanted it to be good. I just don't like the way it feels. It looks too linear. 
Interesting. It looks like, like I feel like the way it looks. I feel like it's like you're like in a hallway, and the people you fight is literally see just in front of you, mm-hmm. and you can't go anywhere. The only thing that changed my opinion is like when he ziplined into the air. I'm like, well, yeah. can you come back down, or like is this an open world? Do you like live it doesn't up there specify. Now? Who knows? Well, it doesn't specify if it's open because every time you see some him fighting him fighting something, it's it's straightforward. It's not like turning or anything. It's just straight. I do so, I do I agree like with one specific point you made where it does seem like we've seen the same hallway over and over again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like it seems like we've seen the exact same shot with him just doing that different white stuff. hallway. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. Yeah, I will say uh Tango Gameworks with what was the last game? Evil Within uh, 2. Evil, Evil Within 2, yeah. Yeah, they had a big like hub world environment in between their linear levels, so yes, maybe that's the mm. that's the vibe they're going for with this possibly, but uh just as far as the vibe of this game in general, like it looks interesting but in a way i don't know i don't know if it's gonna appeal to me um it gives Mm -hmm. me like the tone of like fear 2 where it's supernatural Mm -hmm. but also over the top action and also horror it's like mixing all three of those but this one's just way more over the top like just way crazier to the point where i'm not even really scared though i think i'm supposed Mm -hmm. to be so yeah yeah, i agree with that now again i want to quickly bring up emmett how do you like it's Mm -hmm. like you grew up with us (laughs) <laughs> like fear too. Me and Alex are like the look, biggest like look, fear fans, and you're like over look, here. Like, I was about to say, I was say, I have to bring it up. <laughs> fear. I was like saying, a lot of people like fear. You enjoyed it. Uh, I like fear too a lot. Fear two is okay. my favorite one. I, same. But I haven't played all of Fear One. That's my big caveat. What? I need to because mm, Fear One. It was it, on PlayStation Three, but it was an early one, and I have it on PC. But like, okay. it hasn't run until I got my new system, and I haven't prioritized playing it. <laughs> so and you don't have to. You don't have to. Fear One is okay. Fear Two better. Fear Three. Fear Three story, is off. <laughs> it's bad. Bad game. The bad gameplay game. is Offensive. okay. The story is horrible. Damn. Yeah, that that's fair to say, but uh, Fear Three is offensively bad when it comes to like its narrative. Like, holy oh, shit! Oh yeah, it is. Look, it's, look, it's bad to say that the best one is when the the chick impregnates you, impre- like gets you, makes you get impregnated. Yeah, that's, or, yeah, that's, other that's way, how whatever it is. is. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Imagine hearing this out of context. They're like, wait, what? Oh boy, <laughs> don't play this. Like, later, she I... turns around. It's just like a belly. I'm like, what? Yeah, that was like that was a uniquely fucked up thing. Now it's like never seen that in a video game. Holy yeah, shit! We, we, imagine us. We're like teenagers playing this game. We're like, wait, did they just, we just oh yeah have sex and now she's pregnant. What's bro? Going I on? beat it when I was I beat it when I was like fifteen or something. Like, yep. I was like, holy shit. I, <laughs> yep. Yeah, it got like it gets all real for a second. You're like, whoa. It's, it's <laughs> like you know the thing that your parents do, like where they cover your eyes. Like, should I do that to myself? Yeah, 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 like, like, oh, yeah. Oh, maybe oh, I shouldn't watch this. Should I be playing this right now? <laughs> <laughs> Guardians <laughs> is up next. It's almost like we're in a time loop because the last time we had Edmund on, we talked about Guardians of the Galaxy. And guess yep. what? We're talking about it again. And guess what? It still looks lame as fuck. <laughs> Emmett, are you I don't do you have say, the same thoughts? I don't want to say it looks outright lame. The way that I explain Emmett's it. It's on the pro side for it. I ain't gonna say pro. I ain't gonna say outright oh, pro. That's a little too far, huh? That's I think <laughs> it's I don't think it's gonna be a banger by any means. I how I explained it, it looks like you know how in like 2013 era platinum games, how they would either put out a Nier Automata or a Legend of Korra, the video game. Yes, like oh my god, th- Emmett, when I saw they were making a Legend of Korra game, quick aside, oh, yeah. I was so hyped, and then it came out, and I was like, fuck. <laughs> hey, you rolled the dice back in you the do. day, so you did, yeah, you did. This feels like right in the middle of those two types of platinum games where I don't know wh- which one it's going to be. Yeah. Um I am I'm definitely going to wait for reviews. This is not something I'm actively anticipating, but I don't think it looks like hot garbage. I don't think it's going to come out and fail. Mm, very quickly. But I'm like, not saying that either. I'm just yeah, saying yeah. it looks it doesn't it looks mid. look it yeah, it looks mid. I looked over to I watched this twice, once when it came out and then once with my wife. And I w- when in the middle of the trailer, I looked over and I went we were supposed to laugh multiple times. Mm-hmm. And she goes, what was funny? That's the, that, this is going to be cringy at times, I think, when we're playing this video game. I think we're going to be playing this game and be like, oh, I was supposed to laugh. Oh, no. Like, that is the Whoops. worst feeling <laughs> yeah. when you know you were supposed to laugh at something and it didn't make you laugh. Got that yeah, a lot like from the ra- Rocky Raccoon. Thanks, buddy. And yeah. And we're supposed to be like, oh, 
<laughs> like slapping our knees. That was so funny. The heart like, attack part too. Like that didn't make any sense. Ooh. And like, like when okay. that was happening, I was like, stop. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, <laughs> you're hurting me. I can't with this. Like it oh, hurts boy. my feelings. I love the Guardians. Like I love the movies. I, I I'm one of those guys where like I liked it before it was cool. <laughs> But like, I, I, my dad owned a bunch of the comics when I was a kid, so I read a bunch of them. And they're always cool characters, but this looks just, yeah. I, I, yeah. it's one of those Wait, things where like, I hope I am fucking wrong, and the achievers come at me. They find out where I live and dox me. Like, I hope I'm wrong about all this. Oh God, yeah. I hope I'm I wrong about all that. this, and maybe, maybe the limit. please but, don't swat them over a video game, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Vampire the Masquerade Blunt Hunt is up next. It was revealed for PS5. It's going to come out this year. I, uh, you got th- okay. like three months left, buddy. Don't know Dude. why you didn't just announce the date. It's a Battle Royale set in the Masquerade universe. I have no idea what the Vampire Masquerade games are. I just learned about them when they announced the third one. I think it's the one that's coming out. I think it's uh, that Bloodlines was the 2. One. I thought that is was it two. Bloodlines 2. Thank you. This is the second yeah. one. Sorry. Yeah. But nothing to say. It looks kind of cool. And I thought it was, I thought it looked awesome. Now I want to try it. Yeah. But it's like, like a battle royale. Like, I can't tell. Yeah, it's a battle royale. Okay. Yeah. I it's looked it up. Real. I wanted to make sure I like understood what the game was. Because I didn't like know. Somebody was getting shot and, he, and, and it said down. I'm like, battle royale? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. It looks mm-hmm. like you, you can, um, they described it as you can join clans and that depicts mm. what your play style is going to be like, it looks like. And it looks like they detailed that in the beginning with Nosferatu's. The um mm-hmm. and the other types of uh, players in the game. So I mean, vampires, yeah. I'll, I'll, my, I'll try it. Uh, my issue with this game is, I mean, it looks fun. Like it's a battle royale. I'll try it. I think it's free to play as well. But it's been like being play tested. I think it's been like a closed beta for the last several months on PC, and I think it's an open beta either right now or very soon uh, on PC right now. So when it popped up here, I'm like. I know a lot about this game. Why is it taking up a slot on this supposed to be big main stage presentation where all the big hitters come out? It just felt really weird to see it here. It's definitely like a state of play tier announcement, mm-hmm. not a PlayStation showcase tier. Well, when we started seeing Vampire the Masquerade everywhere, I was like, what is this? It says play free now. Early access join the Blood Yeah, Hunt I'm on, on their PC. website yep. right now to, to mm-hmm. see. Yeah, through, it's like, it's through Steam. Yeah, you can just play it right mm-hmm. now, which is. So wow. why announce it here? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, what? What is what? And then also, why didn't special. you say go play it now? At any point it, in the trailer? Yeah, it definitely has mixed reviews. It says. <laughs> Are you being nice, Alex? It sounds like you're being nice. You're like, it looks like it's mixed. <laughs> uh, I mean, look, look, Steam could be very crucial sometimes. All right, that's true. I it's, mean, knowing the Steam audience, it could easily be people mad that they made yeah. a battle royale out of the RPG game. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You get a lot of yeah. upset people. My I see, favorite, I've never played them though. My favorite Steam review is like the screenshot of the guy that made like made the review, put it like one star, but it said he played like six thousand hours of the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucking awesome. It's all, I, I love that screenshot. Like, like if I ever have to You'd describe like what a video gamer is to an alien species, I, I'm gonna show him like that little like plaque and be like, "This is like kind of <laughs> how we are." Like this right here. Um, next up, Death Loop. Alex's favorite topic. Death Loop. We're going to talk about this again. What feels like the thousandth time we're talking about this video game. It comes out September fourteenth. Week. September fourteenth is this when it is due out. I, I, I we've, I, we, me and Alex have talked this to death. I would actually want to hear Emmett's thoughts on these. I mean, I'm, I'm super excited for Death Loop. I've had it pre-ordered for the last three months, and I think that game's going to be mind blowing, and it's going to put Arcane on the map for a lot of people who haven't gotten into their older mm-hmm. games like me. Why the hell are we seeing this for a 43rd time <laughs> from a PlayStation have, press conference? They must Thank have made you. some banger deal when they signed on for this exclusivity. And they were like, we get some odd million millions of dollars of free p- press for this because the, yeah. they've, we, they've, we've seen this like 10 times. Like, oh, like I think, am I going to say, I think like, I'm, I'm sure the game's going to be good. I'm sure the game's going to be good, but like, I just, I keep seeing it and it, 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 it's off putting, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's out in five days. We didn't well, need literally, this. Why, literally, why, I was. Why did we I was see watching this, more? I was watching the stream, and I had to pause it to change my kid. And I came back, and I was like, oh, "Okay, it's Death Loop." So I started. I was like, oh, "I don't want to watch this. I want to keep it, uh, you know, a surprise." Is because I'm gonna play it. So I started fast forwarding. I'm like maybe forty seconds in. It's still going. I'm like, <laughs> "Oh my god, how long is this? Why are we still seeing this? It's like two minutes." 
<sighs> That's it was awesome. like the longest one and it was like it, oh my god it was whole it was like oh no <laughs> i can't again can't wait to play it but god, come on this, this this should be a lesson to dev like, like i'm in a death loop watching this game christ oh <laughs> you said what he's, Set in it up a, and not he's, in, he's in a death loop watching the the game is mm. it's very it funny it, but you missed it, it. it end. I, yeah i missed it yeah you know the best jokes are worth saying twice <laughs> the best jokes is when you explain it for sure for we sure. all yeah. learned that from watching guardians of the galaxy uh <laughs> the video game out november we have a very strange look at Kid Amnesia Exhibition. Uh -oh. This is a collab with Epic Games and Radiohead. Eh. Okay. It's like Did not for me. I'm not a Radiohead person. Same. All due respect. But, oh, sounds eh. like Alex is singing something Radiohead. Oh, you, okay. No, doing it's, over there? I forget what the, it's, uh, I forget the name of the song. It's in Vice City and uh, in the, on the, on the radio. It's like, that's where I first heard it. It's like radio kids, radio stars. That song, I forget what the song is called. Oh, wow. Okay. So you're not even, <laughs> so we're just singing radio. a random song. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? My favorite Cuba Gooding Jr. role? Eight, no. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I, you know, Make that movie is not a great role. movie. I, if I had to say it. Um, oh, man. I don't have anything to say about this. It, it looks like no. maybe it's going to be some sort of interactive music experience thing. Literally, this trailer told us absolutely nothing. nothing. It's I a tone see, piece. I couldn't tell. Nothing. Like, it's a tone piece, clearly, but like... This is a video game, so where's the gameplay? Yeah, like, do where's I do stuff? Exactly. When it I could hear... just be a Detune spiritual successor. When I, <laughs> when I hear expedi... Exp... Uh, exhibition, I'm like, is am I like experiencing like set vignettes of something and hearing music? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Uh, we get mm. Chia, I believe is how you pronounce this. I could be wrong, or, or it could be Tia. Uh, this is looks like a Moana meets Breath of the Wild type game. Looks very, very oh, pretty. Yeah, very pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, this game is being made by. I'm gonna butcher this. I apologize. Awasib, Awasib. Mm -hmm. It's a game set around a young girl with soul jumping powers. So she has this little power where she can jump between these uh, different animals and traverse this big island. And it's based off a uh, island called New Caledonian, Donia, a small Caledonia. archipelago. In the middle mm. of the Pacific Ocean. Of course, this is um, it's based off that, so it's not a recreation in the video game. It looks really cool, actually. I'm actually mm -hmm. very excited for yeah. this. Yeah, reminds me a lot of. Uh, have y'all ever heard of or played the game Everything, where no. you can play as everything? I have seen it. I have yeah, not played it though. It's a bit of a trip. That one's a lot more abstract, where like you can play as everything, but it's like it's like flower, right? Not even like flower. Oh. It's like way more abstract than that. Where literally you can play as like a single cell all the way up to like a mountain, but nothing's animated properly. So you're just like, if you play as a deer, you're just like a, st a static model of a deer just flapping around on the ground. <laughs> and then you can go to a crab and then you're just what? flipping around as a crab. Then you can play as a car and then you're just flipping around as a car. Like it's super abstract in that way. But, um, <laughs> This seems like that type of idea, but only animals so that they can animate it properly. Yeah. Uh, so I'm interested to see what becomes of this. It, it looks cute and it looks fun. I think people will like it. Yeah, it looks like it's made by a very, very small studio too, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. Like I'm glad we see it, it. It seemed very clear that PlayStation was like, we got this. We have PlayStation Studios, but it looks like they're actually grabbing indies now, which is very nice. Yeah. So it is good to see something that's actually an indie and not like a million some odd dollar like video game. Like this looks like an actual like small indie studio making a game, which is very nice. Oh, yeah. A very quick one. Uncharted 4 and Lost Legacy are being remastered. Coming to PS5 and PC. We didn't know about the PC port, but did not know about the PS5 port. I did get something kind of wrong, kind of right. One of my uh, guesses for this uh, was going to be that we got the Uncharted uh, 1 remake that we know is being made. Mm -hmm. I thought we were for sure getting that for this to pimp Wait, for the Uncharted, one? Uncharted really? 1. Really? Yeah, I thought we were going to get the... I thought we were going to get oh. like some sort of re-release to like pimp up the movie because it comes out like in a couple ah. months. So I was like, oh, maybe we'll get that. So kind of... I, I, you know, there's Uncharted things here, but I got it wrong. Mm. Fair enough. Uh, uh, I have nothing to say about this, anyone? I mean, I'll probably replay it. <laughs> Yeah, I'll replay. Yeah. It. I'll get the platinum, I guess. I'm yeah. planning on replaying it too. I'm just a little salty that I, it looks like I'm gonna have to buy it again on PS5. 
That's a when good they point. could just unlock the frame rate for me on the PS4 version. Yeah, yeah, eh, yep. this is Sony. Yep, <laughs> yep, the, and we get. <sighs> Oof. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, I fuck it. I was pissed last week, so I don't want to shit on them again. But like, come on, with Horizon, yeah. Oh my god, I was, I was like, like, <laughs> uh, if it's less, if it's like forty dollars or less, I can accept buying it again. But like, I do not make me pay sixty for this. Yeah, I agree. And also, is it just me? I'm a huge Naughty Dog, huge Naughty Dog fan. Mm-hmm. But like, does it not look the same? Like, it kind of looks like the same, right? Oh, it's the same exact thing. It's okay. just unlocked it's, frame rate. Okay. I think, right. yeah, I was yeah. making sure, like, am I supposed to be impressed? Because it looks yeah, the same, which I'm no, excited yeah, to same. play. But it, yeah, I was shit. like, okay, making sure. Just making sure I wasn't the only one. Like, <laughs> like am I crazy? This looks like the exact same thing. Uh, then we get, we, ooh, this is when we start, fuck, like, going. All right. Hell yeah. This is Insomniac's Wolverine game. No one saw this coming. Any, no one saw this coming. When I saw I this man, I screamed. My wife, or my, not my wife, my kid looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that bar scene. I was like, is this fucking like, like all those dead people? I was like, come mm. on. Like, I was like, there's no way this is real. And then the knuckles, and then this. Bro. As soon as you see him in the bar with the cowboy hat, I was like, it, there's my man. Nope. Oh. I didn't even pick it up then. I was still thinking, oh, this is Spider-Man, definitely. Because the whole time I'm like, Marvel and Insomnia equals Spider-Man, and it can be nothing else. The only only (laughs) reason I immediately knew it's Wolverine is because um, um, Wolverine, uh, the... The Wolverine one. That's I think they had just uh, almost the exact same scene in that movie where he's in Canada and there's a, he's sitting at the bar and he kills everybody or it, and stuff like that or he fights everybody and just like almost exact same scene. I was like that's why I immediately knew that was him. I was like oh so as soon as you see the claws. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, the, I I totally was like this is just a weird darker tone for Spider Man two. Then the claws came out. And I'm like, what the hell? And, and so yeah, and the, like I said, when I saw your reaction to that, I was like, fuck yeah. I mean, second, I was like, I gotta get him on the show. We gotta talk about this game. <laughs> we gotta talk about the same before before we get into the depths of this. Um, I want to read a very I think, uh, very well choreographed statement from PlayStation Vlog that very much tells you exactly what this game is you you could teach pr talk like a a whole semester worth from this exact (laughs) paragraph because this tells you almost everything you need to know about the game so this is a straight up playstation blog quote marvel's wolverine is a standalone game being directed by brian horton the creative director and cameron christian the game director who recently led to creative efforts on Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales, a game we're extremely proud of at Insomniac. In the vein of our Spider-Man games, our goal here is to not only respect the DNA of what makes the character so popular, but also look for the opportunities to make it feel fresh and truly reflect the Insomniac spirit. Even though Marvel's Wolverine is very early in development, for what I'm seeing of its emotional narrative and cutting-edge gameplay, the team is already creating something truly special. End quote. So... Uh-huh. For the audience and the achievers out there from what i glean from this very again curated statement is marvel spider-man team meaning it's going to be a shorter experience and also it's going to be in the vein of a spider-man game meaning it's probably going to be very focused on of course combat which duh it's a wolverine game but it's going to be very emotional meaning it's most likely very linear as well i think it's gonna be mm. very linear so it's going to be straight up maybe last of us-esque we kind of have bigger areas to walk around with. That's gonna be probably very lit. Look, as long as you give me Wolverine and I can ride a fucking motorcycle, I'm good. All right, here's what I want. I want yes. a spiritual successor, spiritual successor to give it to, to this baby right here. X Men Origins yes. Wolverine. Yes. This is all I want. <laughs> yes. As the crowd goes wild, because like an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ain't acting. I'm real about this. <laughs> you had that fucking ready. Yeah, because yes, he did. What, because I know the thing I'm worried about. Because it's Insomniac making this, and Insomniac makes great games. Love so many of their games. So many of Spider Man, one of my favorite games of all time. It's gonna be open world for sure. It it could oh, be open world. No, I don't I, agree I at think all. It's gonna be open. I'm not saying it's gonna be huge. 
but I think it's going to be open world, as in Miles Morales, maybe slightly uh, smaller because we don't know where he is. He could be in Canada. Right. He could I, be I don't agree. Emma, Emma, I want to hear. I want to hear you finish, Bo. But but I, I don't would, agree at all. But go ahead. Yeah, I would like it not to be open world. I I hope it goes in that Last of Us Part Two direction where it's just open okay. environments yeah. that you're going to okay. Yeah, I see that. Because yeah. then it'd be closer to X Men Origins Wolverine. But uh, oh. the finish to finish my thought. Um, I. I want and I'm glad Insomnia is making it and I'm sure they're going to do a good job at it. If it's Wolverine, I can't detach Wolverine from the hyper violence, from the extreme gore. It doesn't have to be fucking blood rain <laughs> or anything super crazy. <laughs> it, doesn't it doesn't even have to be, have no to be blood, right? it doesn't even have to be like God of War one, two, three, but I think of it as, you know, having that type of indulgence with it. If they are going to go with Wolverine, they can't be afraid to go in that more violent direction. Right. And I mm -hmm. hope that's the direction that they go into. And because it's Insomniac, I hope that they can make traversing as Wolverine fun. Because if yes. there's one thing you can critique about, you know, X-Men Origins Wolverine, it's mm -hmm. pretty, it's just a God of War game. Like the original God of War game. Mm -hmm. where you're just running around. There's not really much to movement. I think they can make it fun to move as him. Be with the claws into a wall climbing up or something cool like that. They the can do some cool stuff. Wall, wall, a wall ride the wall, but he has his claws going against a fucking wall. So yeah, okay. wall running like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah there's cool right. stuff. He can even leap very far because they had that in the original yep. X-Men Origins. You see so him like this. Yeah. 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 I would love I that. See. I would love that. That's what I so yeah, yeah. Fingers I, crossed. I I agree as well. I think this is a more. Ow. Oh, give it to me. Will he put on the suit? No. Okay. Nah. I was gonna no. say I don't think so either, and I think it, I'm fine. If with you're that. gonna play it straight, either you do it as a joke or it's an unlockable costume. Maybe when you beat the game or mm -hmm. something, but yeah. it would break up the emo like. <laughs> it's hard mm -hmm. to get emotional when you're wearing I the think, yellow yeah. and blue with the <laughs> with the ears. <laughs> I'll, I'll say that this seems like the side of Insomniac that was that we haven't seen since Resistance Three. So oh, if this is their darker, call. more serious I think, side, I think it's darker, yeah. Cool. yeah, then yeah, I I don't think you're seeing the suit. So I'll give my piece. Emmett, hundred percent agree with literally everything you said. They need to embrace Wolverine. The only way you do that mm -hmm. is slashing motherfuckers up. That's just that's mm -hmm. really the only way you do it. Third. I, another agree. You don't have to go God of War three where you're slowly pulling people's entrails out of their body and, and <laughs> smashing a button. You don't have to do that. But X Men Origins, I think, did a really good job with making mm -hmm. you feel like you were killing mofos. You were mm -hmm. like one of my favorite things in the game is when he picks a person up and tears them in half. Are you kidding <laughs> yeah. me? That is the coolest thing ever. So you know you can get a little gory, but like. You don't have to go over the top, but if, you know, when you go over the top, make yeah. it, like, worth it, which I think 2018's God of War really did well, mm -hmm. was, wasn't was as crazy, but when it was very gory or gross, it made it a lot more impactful. Look, you, look, you don't want it to be as, uh, do you want it to be as gruesome as Logan was? Yes. The movie? You yeah, know what? what like, it, <laughs> Shameful, what? I have not seen Logan yet. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> I know. I I should be publicly flogged for that. I've seen I've seen the Wolverine for Christ's sakes, but like I haven't seen Logan. Uh, I plan on fixing that. I have planned on fixing it for several years now. I just haven't gotten around to it. But hey, now I have a reason. I have a reason to what? go ahead and who am I talking to? That one. <laughs> who is this? Who is this? And so many cool points, only for it to fall all down. Who is this man? <laughs> Blessing, come get your boy. What is oh, happening? Boy. What the fuck is happening? He oh, might, my... he might flog me for this too. If <laughs> Yo, you, knew. you probably would. After what you did to him on Twitter, you f he probably fucking would. <laughs> he probably fucking would. <laughs> well, hey, at least I do the race and ethnicity. Of, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, I forgot his name. Quentin Tarantino. Hey, Quentin Tarantino, yeah. <laughs> oh man. So hey, if he wants to come at me over my not having seen Logan, at least I can fix that. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh, anyways, uh, Wolverine. <laughs> I'm very excited for the game. Um, they could go in a million different directions with this uh, character, and uh, <laughs> especially if where we find the character specifically. Obviously, most likely it's before he joins the X Men, so we can get him where he's trying to figure out who he is. He could have amnesia, which I kind of hope he doesn't, because he fucking always does. So, like, let's try to do always. something new. But who knows? I'm assuming. He's there's some sort of Weapon X fiasco because I assume a task force just tried to kill him. That's why everyone's dead. 
something mm. along those lines, maybe. Who knows? Hmm. Time will tell. I was going to do a nice write-up uh, for the Achievers, because I know there are some Gran Turismo folks out there that enjoy them, but uh, blame PlayStation, because their blog post was terrible. All right? God. So, Polyphony is making Gran Turismo. Comes out March 4th. That's all I got for you. I'm sorry. There, There's, like, paint options, so you can paint your cars, you put logos on them, but, like, everything else was nonsense. So, if you'd like the whole story, PlayStation blog. I- I will say I'm I'm excited for the Gran Turismo people, not because I care about Gran Turismo, which no disrespect, this is not mm. my type of game. I, I'm mm-hmm. waiting for the burnout, so that's my type of racer. Mm-hmm. But um, I do think it's crazy that they haven't had a proper Gran Turismo since PlayStation Three, because GT Six was out on PlayStation Three, and yeah. you only they only had Sport ever since then. And so the, the wait for Saints Row and Grand Theft Auto and Gran Turismo has all been a whole generation long. Yeah, so, so I'm glad that they're finally getting something. I am too. Um, Grand, I looked it up before this. Grand, Grand Turismo Sport, I think, sold like 8 million units. So like, what? Mm. Like, it's a crazy game. Like, Jesus. Chris, Grand Turismo is like huge. And I always forget that. I think it's huge in Europe too. I, I never so. tried. I, I like. I, I can't even remember the last Grand Turismo I even tried. I played. Whichever really? one, the last one that was oh, on PS2 is good. the last one I played. Probably four. Yeah. Okay, maybe I did I play four. Prologue. Five Prologue. Yeah. I played just yeah. a little bit. I think it's... I played a little bit of five. That's the. Is that the first one that came out on PS3? The first one on PS3 was Grand Turismo Five Prologue, then Five uh, Proper. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah five proper came out later. Yeah, so that's the only one. That's the, I guess that's the last one I tried. I played Gran Turismo three. I, the mm-hmm. only way I know this is I have to look at the cases. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that's I the blue one, I, right? Yes. Look, yep. I used to be a, God, I used to be a, a Ridge Racer man. What? What? What was that, Alex? I, I used I used to I before Forza I used to be a Ridge Racer man. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, Ridge. Okay. That's a... I, I enjoyed I enjoyed Ridge Racer a lot for some right. reason. Okay. I respect that yeah, one. Sure, I will, I guess. Yeah, you don't hear that one every, every no, day. No, I'm a never. full auto fan. <laughs> okay. No, nah, not really. I, oh, I don't okay. care about You're like, I'm I played like the one that was on PSP, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Uh, now now we have the, the two enders. Uh, the biggest of the bigs, Spider-Man 2. Mm. I mean, this trailer is phenomenal. Coming 2023. Yes. Some quick details, and then we're going to br- go into it. Uh, it's going to be single player. They very much specifically put in the PlayStation blog. Very flowery. It's going to be the most ambitious single player game ever. So it's going to be single mm-hmm. player. Ryan Inserhar and Ryan Smith are back. Creative director and game director, respectively. Uh, those, are, of course, are behind the first game. And then they um, have Tony Todd, which is... Uh, from Candyman, I believe, is where I got that. Yeah, from. will be the original Venom. Candyman. The original. Thank you. I was like, is that mm-hmm. from the first one? I couldn't find out. So thank you. Um, but yep, he will be voicing Venom. Very interesting. Let's get into this trailer first off. The beginning. <laughs> Are oh, you kidding man. me? Like the biggest cock. I I cock tease, man. I thought that was infamous. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Didn't you see the like just little electricity just oh. whoop going up, and I'm like. Yeah, and in retrospect, Look. I feel so dumb because the lightning was yellow instead of blue. It but was like, yellow, yeah. That, man. That's the only reason I was like, oh, it's Electro. Like, like I was like, in because I was just, I was hoping. I was just like everyone else out there, all the broken achievers just like we are out there, being like, <laughs> Inf- Infamous might be here. We all like talked ourselves into it. Maybe Infamous is finally coming back. No. no. Yeah. Why would it? Why would it? Why those would, rumors. Why would they bring one of the best PS3 games to a pl- new platform to sell? Why would I'm, they do that? I mean, in why? retrospect, I, I feel... I think of a reason. I feel even stupider, because it's like, why bring back your original long-forgotten superhero IP when Spider-Man and Wolverine are exclusive? <laughs> like, who cares? Like, it was all... The cars were already stacked against you with Spider-Man, but Wolverine's here, too? <clears throat> Forget about Jim it. Jim Ryan's over there fanning himself with his money. He's like, oh, wait, what infamous... Sorry. We're too busy selling... <laughs> Fuck tons of Spider Man. I'm already infamous for half the quotes. Oh, <laughs> Evan is fucking on fire on this. Oh boy, on this. It's 11:30, by the way, achievers, and he's he's bringing hey. this heat. You're teeing him up. I'm knocking him out. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Alex, Spider Man Two, give me thoughts, dude. As soon as it opened up, I was like, oh, I was like infamous. 
And then I was like, no. And then Electro, I was like, okay. And then they started showing both Spideys fighting. I was like, okay, I see. It's and then they hit, they peek into the darkness, and all you hear is yes. I'm like, yeah. I was like, here. yep. I was like, oh, I, I was like, it's Venom. It was like, it has to be. And then he just peeks out, and I'm like, yes, yes. We got Craven, and, we got Electro, mm -hmm. we got Venom. So far, is three. it? Did they confirm Craven? I don't think it's confirmed. That's what, it, they didn't say it in the we blog. We were speculating that's who's like, talking. It sounds like it's what, I mean, the hunt. He's hunting. He's disappointed. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's Craven's shit. He likes mm -hmm. hunting and he gets mad when he catches him. It's weird. He's a weird guy. Yeah, because he was like, well, he made, he made it too easy for me. Yeah, he's weirdo. But um, I, I th I'm pretty positive those are the three. Uh, and hey, maybe they do something different. It's not Craven. Maybe it's someone else. They, mm -hmm. They've got a lot to go over in this, especially with how we ended the the first game especially including the DLC so yeah. very curious how we're handling a lot of those side stories especially one very major one um uh, if you didn't if you didn't if you like Spider-Man 1 and never played the DLC please go do that cuz if you by the time this comes out yeah. you're going to want to know specific events from the end of that for sure to understand the story so go go play that but uh i want to know your guys' opinion right before I could be reading way too much into this. We see Venom cuts the mm -hmm. black. We see mm -hmm. we see the symbol. It's black behind it. Mm -hmm. Am I reading too much into this? Are we getting mm -hmm. some sort of black Venom suit. black suit symbiote, Peter? Mm -hmm. I think I think we are, and Peter's not going to be able to control it, and Miles is going to have to come in or something. I ooh okay yeah that that sounds plausible. Um, I was thinking, because I was already thinking this was going to be kind of like GTA 5 character switching at your will uh, type mm -hmm. of game. Mm. But now that you're throwing the symbiote suit potentially in here, I... <sighs> it's just weird because if you look at... Mm. Uh, let me see if I can bring it back up. Um, I, I'll, say that, I'll say this real quick. Um, I don't see them doing the Last of Us Part 2 thing where you start your upgrades all over again. So because of really, that... you don't. Yeah, I, I don't see them doing that because if this is still an open world game, you have to have access to your Venom-like powers at all times. So I just can't see them. Suddenly, Peter has symbiote. So goodbye to all those upgrades you were working towards. And here's a new set or vice versa when the symbiote's gone. So I just don't see them doing that. Mm. Insomniac, I don't see doing that. They, they're not... They're not all about the artistic integrity to the same degree that a Naughty Dog is, where they'll just rip away gameplay shit from you. So we'll see. Lots to think about with that specific Plenty. sentiment. So I will say I think we're going to get Venom on Peter at some point in the story, probably midway to close to beginning. Probably the third act is going to be Miles trying to free him. Hmm. And I don't think it's implausible that peter dies at the end of this mm. don't think i don't Bold. think because now we set up spite we set up miles as the permanent spider-man and we that's it that's our spider-man now now we know of course it's harry osborne because we saw him in the tank of course but we don't know for sure if that's harry in the in the venom we assume it is of course because uh, well because he looks like eddie brock venom he does i they mm. might not it's care weird about and that it's stuff. Well, and it's weird too because in the first game, Ed, you talk to Eddie Brock as he's the pizza, pizza guy. He is, yeah. He is. I think yeah, that's. Would, I think they're being very clear that he does not matter in the story. That's yeah. So maybe I, that's what I was saying. Maybe they're just trying to change it. But I was. I like, don't. I think. I think we are going to fight. I just blanked on his name with his friend. Uh, Harry. Oh, Harry. Thank you, Harry. Yeah, I think we're fighting yeah. Harry. At some mm. point, Venom's like, oh, "This guy sucks," and he's gonna jump to Peter. And we're gonna have to fight, and he might mm. he might be dead by the end of the story. Bro, that sounds mm. preposterous. <laughs> I see because you hippopotamus. <laughs> you are correct because Insomniac has shown that they'll go there with they the last Spider-Man game, uh, the last yeah. one, yeah, in yeah, front of so... our faces, and I cried like Ooh. a small mm -hmm. child. Emmett, bro, I uh, cried even harder at Miles Morales' ending. Like the things that be there. Would you yeah. think they'll do it? Would you think they'll go there if they killed Miles? Ah, oh, no, 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 you don't, no, you don't stop, bring that no. in this house. That's not you happening. Don't. No, not no. my baby boy. How many no. people would be pissed? Uh, all of the world. Everyone, <laughs> the world. 
because it because it because <laughs> it would be Uruguay oh yeah he's rebelling finally... like no <laughs> it it would be like uh lovecraft county getting canceled after one season that's what it would feel like to everyone i never watched the show i'm sorry i'm part of the problem hey you know I'm what i didn't problem. watch it either but i know oh, everyone loved fuck, it <laughs> i i, I make the reference like you did <laughs> i'm making the reference because everyone loved lovecraft county and so when it got canceled everyone was mad you're right the same thing would happen if they killed miles where it's like he just got his own game and now off him yeah, mm. yeah, and yeah, you de- you definitely don't want to do that with Miles. Like how well you develop that character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got like four other Peters. We'll be fine, you know. <laughs> we do have four other Peters. We do slap another dimension. You got another Peter. There you go. Exactly. There you go. One oh, of them has two no. faces. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Get the one where. You- God, yeah. Why did they? Oh, really quick. Because that just like what happened? Do you think with that? Alex, oh. like what? What? What do you? What do you guys think happened? Why did they change midway? Uh, I mean, they they I, explained I, it. Do you believe? I feel them? like. They, oh, well, here you you say your thing first. I was gonna say I feel like they were just trying to just make it look more like either like Tom Holland and just make it the graphics look a little better. Because I'm not gonna lie, I love the way the the original guy looked, but they made this one look. Crispier, I guess, for next gen. Crispy. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, never, uh, that's how I'm, never yeah. been, <laughs> never heard a man describe that way. But sure, crispy. Yeah, <laughs> crispy. It's hey fucking man, it's 2021. Crispy. Yeah. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> hey, when the lights are off, hey. skin is skin. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Hey, <laughs> what are you? What yeah. are you thinking? I mean, they they explained that it was to not just to make it look better for next generation, but also to more closely match the face of Yuri Lowenthal, the mocap and voice actor. Yeah. Um, looking at him, I mean, the guy still doesn't look like Yuri Laurenthal, but it's closer. So I guess the dots match up a little bit better on his face. Mm. Um, so in that case, I totally understand it. I totally get it. He does look just close enough to, uh, what's his name from the MCU movies? Uh, Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Yeah. It, he looked just close enough to Tom Holland to where I'm like, all right, slightly uncanny Valley, but yeah. Uh, I don't think we're going to think about it by the time Spider-Man 2 comes out, especially two years. Probably like, not. We'll be fine. I like to bitch. <laughs> Uh, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's all I got for Spider-Man 2. I'm hyped. I am not looking forward to watching Spider-Man die in my arms. Oh, man. We're, picture, we're all going to cry, though. Just picture be that overlap cry. between the one and second. Just picture what that end scene oh, was. And picture the God. same exact scenario. Very <sighs> interesting storytelling, especially, too. You see Uncle Ben's face. God, that would be like when uh, the way Amazing Spider Man 2's deleted scene was. We, he just is alive now. That's so fucking. Think funny. about the trauma Miles is going through. All his friends are falling. Yep, Jesus Christ. That's true. The other one died while holding him, while flying. Like, what the fuck uh, happened? Oh, God. You know she's coming back. I can't wait for her to come back. No way she's coming back. You know, you, you, uh, Emmett, rules of storytelling. You don't see a body, you ain't fucking dead. And we already have ex- another love interest for ex- Miles. The one that That's exploded true. in the They're air. They're so cute too. I love them together. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's I, not coming I, back. Yeah, she, yeah is. She, she, she is. She you don't see a body. The- she's coming back. That is. She's so pixels. <laughs> I need to see blood mist, Emmett. Blood <laughs> mist for me to be. <laughs> God right, of War right. Ragnarok is what we end the event with. A couple of details: mm. Frey and Thor will be the main Boy. antagonists of the story. We're going to be able to visit all nine realms of that beautiful big old tree. Yes, and this is taking place years after the events of 2018's God of War. We don't know precisely, but you can guess most likely five to ten ish years. Mm. Who knows? I'm gonna say real time. <laughs> real time. Yeah, it's been okay. about four years. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right, Emmett. I like that. Um, directors have changed. Uh, we are getting uh, from Corey Balog to Eric Williams. I will say it again. Corey Balog is working on their sci-fi game that we know that they're making something sci-fi. So. so Corey Balog definitely is working on that. That is why he is not on this one. Yeah. Give it to yeah, me. And, well, and I like that they said, too, like they said, every God of War game, they've changed directors. And except I was like, I didn't know that. For Corey. Except oh, really? for this one. Yeah, except for Corey. Corey did two he did two yeah again. Corey did two yeah, he, and the and s- second one yeah he did god of war two as well thank you yeah so he did the mm-hmm. second all one the other ones have been different so i think and so i but they have all been really good so i mean Dude, we'll see. that is <sighs> not i mean i i'm really hoping actually just a side note i really hope they bring back the director's 
like live event thing they did like way back for God of War 3 where they had every single God of War director on stage just talking to each other about the franchise. Um I, I would love to they see that. Did that. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah oh man. God. I I, mean, I remember a great memory. Oh my god. Bro. Yeah, I can't believe I mean, that. It's a great memory for shit that doesn't matter. So <laughs> don't ask me about social I'll, security. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a problem. Um, but yeah, uh, I think I think them switching up directors is good. I think uh, Corey set a really good foundation for them to continue on. He definitely like did. Doing so. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see what this new guy, what he brings to it. Because the last one felt very personal from Corey's very. point mm-hmm. of view specifically. Yeah. Yes. So let's see what else they can do. And plus, Alana Pierce is helping to write it too. So I feel like this story is going to mm-hmm. have we're going to feel a lot of different we're going to feel the hands in the kitchen where it's a lot of people in there but like it's going to have a little bit of everybody's personal life in there and i'm excited to see how so i agree alex yeah it's it's weird cuz like i was like the gameplay they were showing like it's all a lot of like easter eggs like they just randomly throw in um like like with the the gears of gears of war 5 vibe with the with the sleds with the two dogs mm. with the two wolves i mean that was uh the, those those were the two dogs that uh odin the wolves the black white one and the black one um i have God, no I idea what you're talking about were they in, like in the original reboot no, like, no, no, no. I'm talking oh, about you're like just the, saying they're the, the they're his wolves is what you're saying. The, the, yeah, the, the two wolves that they show him that are pulling Kratos are the two that call that are rag the do Ragnarok. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, it's called the um, I forget uh, their names. Gary and Fr- I think it's called Gary and Frankie, and then the Ravens I know are Hugh Hugh and Munin. We're all we're stopping this podcast. Full stop. Put it in. Put it in reverse. Beep. <laughs> put it in reverse. Did you just say Gary and Frank? Did you just say that for those two fucking dog names? Okay, Gary and Frecky. Gary of Frecky is what you just told me. <laughs> Gary, G E R I. Oh, okay. Weird. And Frecky, F R E K I. And that's like the this. two wolves, and one they like both this. mean ravenous and greedy one. They're the two wolves that accompany Odin. Okay, yeah. And then it's... the two ravens is a uh, Hugin and Munin. Hmm. Okay, this is making sense. Now. Mythology, so. Fun yeah, fact, you so. you're digging up shit I didn't know. <laughs> fun fact: Loki got banged by a horse and birthed Odin's horse. It's a little fun fact for you guys. Damn, I mean, I for Tom Hiddleston. I mean, yeah. fun a fun fact. If he likes I'm to sure live in his are. roles, so he let. It, uh. I mean, fun fact we all. Uh, I mean, I'm sure we all know the world serpent is Loki's. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, they, we did yeah, see the ending that. little bit. Um, they actually brought that up in the PlayStation blog. Uh, we are, uh, it, we're sh- we're seeing uh, Kratos com- conf- uh, conflicted by seeing the foretelling of what happens to him mm-hmm. with his yeah. But yeah. McGandry, yeah, he, it's pretty much Loki's kid. Yeah, the dude. The, I the, yeah, yeah. So the World Serpent, yeah, that's the name. Is your your McGander. Yeah, yeah. I'm very excited just to see like the fact that because I totally thought you know. The kid would have known that he's, uh, you know, who Loki is. Um, mm, that's right, right? Yeah, because at the end of the game, he's like, my mom used to call me something else that wasn't my name. I think it was Loki. And then mm. all these years later, he's like, we got to find out who Loki is. I'm like, mm, all right, that seems a little bit of an oversight there. But um, that aside, I'm excited to see how that's resolved. But also, bro, Freya as a as a Ooh. woman's thou art scorned. Yes, oh, my God. Fam. She, like, I am intimidated. This is the yes. first time, like, what's so crazy about this God of War, just the way that they're portraying the franchise now, I've seen so many enemies in God of War, and it's, they've never felt like, oh, that that's a scary monster. They've always just felt like, oh, that's going to be a fun ride to yeah, take Yeah, that's going to be, Because yeah. I am Kratos. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is the first time where I'm intimidated, not because they're physically imposing, but because you know they've been through some shit, and you know they have nothing... There's no lose. doubt in their mind they're killing you. And yeah, it, nothing yeah. to lose. And yeah. Every now and then, I play that end speech she gives Kratos when he when uh when her uh full spoilers for twenty Boulder. full spoilers. But oh, when yeah. they kill Boulder, and and that is one of the most honestly terrifying scenes that I think of, like being in the position of Kratos, like oh fuck, <laughs> like like he was like ooh, that's bad. Ooh. Like, like, it's just like, I don't know <laughs> what I'm going to do now. <laughs> and then it's even more hyped up when you fight all the, um, uh, Valkyries. All the Furies? Or, oh, Valkyries, Val- yeah. yeah, Valkyries. And, um, the, the end, they're like, yeah, Freya's the main Valkyrie. And you're like, oh, God. 
god this is like this is even worse oh so i'm i'm very excited to see freya trying to murder kratos very cool yeah same thing for thor too <laughs> Thor's we're, about thor the... we're about a wreck uh, emmett what do you think who's getting mjolnir thor or atreus who's getting you mean, you mean kratos or atreus sure He's okay, I was yeah. Thor, already has <laughs> Thor already has me on here. Oh, did I say Thor? Gotcha. Okay, yeah. so yeah, Kratos yeah. or Atreus. I think one of the first off, we're murdering Thor. We're taking his head off. We're throwing at Odin, who's picking up Munir and like just wah throwing that thing. I, I was about to say, I think yeah, I was about to say, I think I think Kratos is going to use Munir to kill Thor. Ooh, how in front of, in front of Odin? Nice. nice. I feel like that that'll happen. I don't think it will. Or that sounds dope. or. Or Thor's about to do that to Kratos, and Atreus saves him and kills Thor. Oh, I and don't know, man. And, and Atre- Atreus builds up his Spartan rage, because we saw that a little bit in the last game. Mm. He, didn't, he didn't have he his did. Spartan rage. He, he, uh, he's going to pull his Spartan rage, and he's going to... F- maybe he'll... Because may- I forget. I don't know, Emma, if you know, but I, I don't. I don't know if VVM knows, too. But um, the reason... Uh, why is the reason Kratos white? The reason yeah. he's white is because in the first game, he accidentally killed his family yeah. just in the middle of a blind rage, so the ashes from his family are forever burned into his skin from okay. him yep. killing him. Emma nailed it, 100%. Yep. Now, do you think Atreus would turn that color if, he, if something happens to Kratos? Because we saw the thing you know, where he's holding Kratos in his arms. Seems a little Ooh. on the nose. I see what you are going with. Very on the nose. Where he's he's following his dad's footsteps or whatever, and, and Kratos is probably gonna be like, "Don't end up like me or some shit." Yeah, it's, that seems on. Uh, that seems a little too on the nose. I, I don't yeah. hate the idea, but I don't. I don't like. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't think I would like that turnaround. I think. I yeah. think we are working towards the. Um, I keep forgetting the name. The I'm vi- still gonna say the, the the vision on the wall, the the foretelling of Prophecy. Kratos' Prophecy. death. Prophecy. Thank you. That's the word I was trying to think of. Um, yeah, I think we're working towards that. What, however we get I'm there is, is a different word. I'm still going to say my original statement when we played God of War 2018, when we saw that thing, and I kept asking why the snake is white, I think Kratos is the snake. Mm. Like, it's, it's like a re... Uh, what is it called? Like I'm going to get, su- type of thing. I'm gonna get super meta with this. Uh-oh, here we go. Alex, you might remember this. Mm. Emmett, you might remember this. I was a okay. huge God of War dude when it came out, 2018. Mm-hmm. I loved three. I didn't play too much of one and two, but I did play a little bit of them. Played all um, of them. So when I played Me 2018s, too. loved loved it to death, and I consumed so much content after I finished that because I wanted to see everyone's opinions. Cause it's like one of my favorite games I've ever played, and I want to cite a very specific kind of funny um, interview with Corey Barlog. Mm. Someone brings up the fact that Kratos might be the serpent. Corey gets hella weird out of nowhere and goes uh, no and it's like oh fuck did oh. we just figure out the fucking oh. ending of the game and he just gave it to us like so i that's always been in the back of my mind ever well, since it, it happened it, it, it's, it's always pissed me off because when you first see the serpent he's white with red markings he has the red mark and at the a, ending yeah. you see him holding yes. kratos and loki is birthing the serpent maybe kratos's soul is reincarnated into the serpent and that's what causes it i'm gonna say it's kratos oh i <laughs> i'm, oh, I'm no. still leaving it at that oh Whew. yeah these possibilities just throw on my head for a loop well also but, uh. also this is all fucked up because we know at some point time travel is added to this because, yeah, because um, Jogermonger travels. Yeah, they travel in time and stuff. So like, <gasps> yeah, yeah. Oh you ex- god, there's too many possibilities. Emmett, you knew <laughs> exactly saying, yeah. where I was going. Because the, the world serpent, the world serpent and be. Thor fight, and then he's uh, the world serpent gets set back in time into the yeah. lake. So if this is called Ragnarok, at the end of this game, yeah, that's what it's, presumably yeah. Thor and this giant serpent man serpent, yeah. is fighting. And mm-hmm. then in time travel, wobbly, jumbly, Doctor Who garbage happens. Who knows at that point? Once you, once you put time travel as a possibility, mm. throw away all your papers and predictions. You can get as wild now, as you want. And now, and now look, Thor is fighting Kratos. The original lore, Thor fights the serpent. Why is the, why is the serpent white and red? Maybe because it's originally Kratos and that's why they fight the serpent? 
It's all cir- it's all, it's all a circle. It's too much cyclical going on here. I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this. I didn't realize that the all nine realms being open leads to time travel being as a possibility. Didn't realize that until right now. So like now I'm thinking, is there going to be another retrieving the chains moment where we go back to some God of War? That's what I'm saying. Three man. shit. That's what I'm saying. Because like, what if he uh, goes back to his house and he know like he sees some like we get we get we get weird. This is when it gets yeah. weird. I almost. Kind of hope they don't do it because when you do time travel, <clears throat> very I mean, hard to nail that. It's very hard to nail. I it. feel like in the God of War series specifically, if they go do time travel, this is the fight. They've already said this is the final Norse mythology. Yeah, that's what it's part. Yes, I line. saw that. What is up with that? What? So I mean, the, yeah, this this will end the Norse mythology story. Not they didn't say God of War. They no, said the North. The no, Norse they said mythology. this is a trilogy, so we're for sure getting another game. But that was <laughs> weird to me. Well, well, no, no, wait, they t- they, whoa, whoa, mm-hmm. hold on. What are we, eh? What are we, eh? What, 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 no, what this, They didn't say trilogy. They the said, I think, ho, did they? Ho, 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 ho. I don't believe they said Talk trilogy. Talk amongst yourselves. I will go find the quotes. All right. Yeah, but I don't think it'll be trilogy because they said this game will end the Norse mythology. Saga I don't know. I don't is know. Is the word they used. Saga. Which okay. isn't how sagas work. So that was weird. Well, what, well, what do you call a two part thing? duology uh, thank you yeah duology <laughs> okay a saga okay. is like a multi-part like i mean menu. i i i can't see them making a third game because they already hinted towards what the ending of this one's probably going to be at the end of 2018 and it's ragnarok this is the end like i know it's a rebirth mm-hmm. and it's a circle it starts over but like this is the end of everything pretty much so they can't have this be called Literally, the subtitle being the end, and then have another one after this in the same saga. Like, I just, unless things get completely flipped upside down with potential time travel and stuff, I can't see that happening. I, I see this being either Atreus is moving on to another religion I think or whatever. I think or Atreus is going to go back t- to his other part and he's going to go back to the Greek and mm. Greek mythology. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, I don't even that, know how what what yeah, could happen there. That, that, see that, that again? That's when it gets weird. And do we really want that? I would want that because I'm I'm the person who always says I like the right. original trilogy more than twenty. Right, well, so. I guess okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? You said what? What'd you say? I missed. I like the original God of War games more than twenty eighteen. What the? F- I now pause. I'll say that like like I like God of War three more than twenty eighteen. That's definitely Where for am sure. I? But like I like I like 2018 a whole lot. I like, like I I look. I'm I playing it up. Three, I'm, I'm I don't like around. it more than than the new one. I don't know. Yeah, I'm fucking around. You like what you like. I'm, <laughs> but I played it up for the show. Um, but I mean, you're, you're not the only one to have that reaction. You're fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> Fair. I don't know. I don't know why, but I guess every in my mind, every at one point in all these games, somebody dies. I do you think Kratos dies in this one? No. Mm. I I, I'm he, gonna say yes. No. Mm. I'm going to say either he dies and they're definitive about it, or if they're going to keep making God of War games, maybe his death here <laughs> is what leads him to end up in a different religion or whatever, or mm-hmm. a different mythical area. Like they originally, so when they first made the first God of Jesus. War. Bro, literally, that's what David Jaffe said for the original God of War. Their plan was, yeah. all right, we did Greece. Now let's do Christianity. Now let's do... He's over there smoking fucking... three joints at once. All right, now we're going to fight Jesus. You ready? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like, I would be down for that. Mythology, though. Like, I mean, Wait, which they one? Have, they haven't done the Chinese mythology. Yeah, so, they could go and, there. Imagine, imagine Kratos' big self fucking wearing some type of like samurai suit, but like, with a big staff. Like a Wukong, like a, a Wukong staff. See, that would be cool, but now I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, watch that come out the same year as Ghost of Tsushima 2, and it just doesn't hit. <laughs> mm. it ain't, and everyone gets this mad. This ain't it, fam. This ain't it. They won't, they won't do it. I, yeah. can't, I can't find the quote. Egyptian gods, man. Let's go there. Yeah. yeah. They, see, what they say what they did was they already did the thing where we know he's been there. That sucks. It's like, eh. <sighs> like, are they going to go back? I hope so. I want him to fight Raw or hang out with Raw, or maybe they get a drink or two. Who knows? But like, yeah. I, like, I, like, I want to see Egyptians. I actually, that was actually my my one want was like, if God of War comes back, oh, it'd be cool if he fought Egyptians because it's just a cool story or culture. Hell yeah! Get. But I don't think it's gonna. Yeah, if only he's fighting Jesus. 
<laughs> I can't find it. I can't find it. I don't know. I could have swore at some point when the I think we just expected the, it. In the marketing, someone said this is a start of a trilogy. Could be wrong. Maybe not trilogy, but a new start in the franchise. They probably implied there was more. I don't think they set a number on how much more. Look, back in that, back in those times, uh, I could have just like read an article and be like, "Oh, sure." So I, I might not have actually read it. Who knows? This was mm. that part, that would have been like <laughs> what 2015. I probably would have read that. So that was a mm. stupid ass game. Ish. <laughs> we right. all were. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that is the showcase. Any final thoughts from any either of you gentlemen on the actual showcase? We are an hour and 14 in the show, and we just covered the showcase. <laughs> I fucking love you, too. All right, give it to me. What are your thoughts? Um, I'll say, broke. yeah, I, I am <laughs> going to be broke. Be broke. I'll, I'll say overall, this showcase was kind of a not the great. Everyone's saying like, oh, man, S tier, greatest thing ever. I'm I've more of like a B too. plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm around there. I saw Cameron Haynes. Um, a tweet out it's like oh yeah this is like a b i was like yeah 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 i, I could i could probably be swayed to an a because i mean come on wolverine spider-man and god of war eh, it's probably a but I, I understand what he's saying um that middle really lagged for a while the middle there. yeah the middle definitely again you can tell playstation was like all right we're gonna put all the stuff that's paying the bills in the front and we're gonna end it with the bangers like that's clearly mm -hmm. what they did so I'm I, again. It was it was good. It was a good showcase. I liked it. Uh, I want actually. I'm, I have a second question, uh, Alex. Give you give your thoughts on the showcase, and then I want to ask a question. I mean, I'm actually very um, like I, I enjoyed it a lot because like what, even the first start, like most of all the games that I saw, I probably will play. Um, except the exception of Rainbow Six, and <laughs> maybe maybe like a two couple more games, but like. Almost about maybe 80, 85 to ninety percent of those games that I saw, I will play. Yeah. So and that's and that is surprising because half the time good, I've yeah, seen. I mean, that's a good way of judging a showcase. Well, like it's crazy. It's crazy because lately the state of plays have been, you know. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. State of plays are usually kind of lame, but showcases. I like PlayStation's way of. See, this is the problem with Xbox. When you're gonna mm -hmm. say showcase, show things like sh you gotta. <laughs> bring fire when you're going to say those words you have a showcase mm. you got to make the case bro thank you bro oh my god <laughs> damn it bro so deep um i'm setting them up but uh that's one of the issues with xbox if you would have called just... that an inside xbox presents gamescom showcase way different expectations are now created for the viewers playstation showcase means they're bringing bangers state of plays Means these are mini vignettes that we're going to talk about a couple things, and then we're going to end with a big update on a game that's coming out. And that's um, why I, just, I like PlayStation's more toned down approach to their marketing. Alex, please. Sorry, um, I fa I went back to where he's talking about the thing, and he says this is where we cap the Norse mythology series. Is what he said. That's this is where he said where he caps off every when he cap. They said here. Let me. Um, I'm on it right now. He says, like, uh, he says, like, oh, this is where we cap off the Norse mythology series. Mm -hmm. So what you're telling me is he literally was we're like, oh, killing <laughs> Thor and Odin in this game? He Who? literally, the guy said he was like, oh, well, you know, is Ragnarok going to be in this? And he was the guy, and the, 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 uh, the writer said he was like, well, it's called Ragnarok. It has to be in it. I so mean, so weird question to ask. I watched yeah. that too. I was like, "What the fuck? Who wrote yeah, these he's, questions?" He's like, he's like, "It's gonna be in it, and this is where we cap off the Norse mythology series." Is that's what exactly what he said? That doesn't I'll, make any sense. I mean, I'll, it's also, summer, but it's the last Norse mythology one. Exactly. There's gonna be more God of War after that, but also yeah. don't attach too much to. I know we think of Kratos the God Killer. He's not trying to kill these gods, so guess what, Ragnarok. He's gonna kill the gods, <laughs> like like that's what. No, that's what I'm the gods are going to die because Ragnarok's coming. But Kratos might not be the one killing them all. That's all I'm saying. So <laughs> maybe attach that, that to him. Kratos is gonna see anything happening. He's like, bye. <laughs> he didn't even kill all the gods in the last game. Like Atreus polished off one of them for him. So like <laughs> he did. It is what it yeah. is there. But hey, that besides the point. As far as the whole conference goes, yeah. Oh yeah, we were talking about the conference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, was, yeah it was good. Con it was a good conference. Again, I like PlayStation. Meet when PlayStation says things. At least it means things. Whereas Xbox, it's like here's a showcase. The trebuchet started in around eighteen hundred. <laughs> it's like what the fuck is happening right now? Like 
it, Are you bringing back this trebuchet shit? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, I am. Someone <laughs> has to call them out on that. You can't oh, let boy. that go unabashed. All right, this mm -mm. is the middle of the show. We have finished the showcase. This I want to ask. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> we finished the showcase portion. I was going to save the what have we been playing talk for a little break point in the middle where we ended the showcase. So mm -hmm. very quickly, Emmett, what have you been playing? I've been playing uh, a couple things. I think I'm just going to focus on one of these things because if you want to hear like all the stuff I've been playing, uh, you can go listen to Players Club Podcast. That's the stuff I do if you want to hear. Sorry, you said Players Club Podcast? Where can I find that? Oh, you can find that on VGU.TV. It's usually one of the first posts up there every week. And uh, you can find it on podcast services. Just search up VGU.TV podcast and it'll be on there. Um, but yeah, you can go ahead and listen to the latest episode if you want to hear me talk about Cookie Clicker. And uh, cookie what's the other clicker. thing I've been playing? I've been playing Cookie say, Clicker. You and can't just say that and just be like, and moving on. <laughs> what is the cookie, fuck clicker is cookie Clicker more weird of a thing? Oh, wait, y'all have never heard of Cookie Clicker? No. No. Emmett, are you fucking with oh me right now? You're like, God. oh, guys, you haven't heard right. of cookie clickers? <laughs> All right, well, thing? very quickly then, I'll talk about cookie clicker. Um, a long time ago, like maybe seven or eight years ago, there far, was this. Far away. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it was a big flash game popping off that was called Cookie Clicker. And basically, there's a cookie on okay. screen. You click the cookie, you generate a cookie. And then you click enough cookies, then you could buy a cursor that just automatically clicks the cookie every couple seconds. And then that generates cookies passively without you looking at it. And then you can click to still gain more cookies. And then you can unlock a grandma that will bake a certain amount of cookies every second. And then you can unlock a farm that will farm a certain amount of cookies every second. Then you can get all the way till like you can make a time machine at the end game that will go back in the past to get uneaten cookies to generate cookies. And you're buying these new things with the cookies you're generating and you're I lit okay. I should open up Cookie Clicker just to tell you it. I have had Cookie Clicker now. This came out years ago as a flash game. They re released it on Steam recently for five bucks. I've had this game running for like three days straight after it came out on Steam. I have 156 hours logged into Cookie Clicker and I haven't been playing actively the entire time. This is an idle game, so it's just in the background. I've had the tab open while I go to work and all that shit, but. Uh, I want to pull it up just to give you an idea of like, I'm not going to like show it or anything, so don't expect anything visually, but I want to see how many cookies I'm generating right now after all these hours I've put in. I put in five days worth of time into Cookie Clicker, but I am in the trillions of cookies. <laughs> I, okay, I have 22.6 trillion. The shit, the clicking. And I'm, I'm not sitting here clicking mindlessly the whole time. I have generated so many... I have so many machines and buildings going in the background where passively, without me doing anything, I'm generating 3.1 billion cookies a second. And that's that's the whole game. Like, there's a little, like, eventually you, you can unlock cookie banks, and then those have a stock market attached, so you can play that mini game. There's, like, a gardening mini game attached to the farms once you upgrade them. But really, I'm just generating cookies, and the whole game is just watching the numbers go up. And it's fun. <laughs> Like, it's not, like, the most traditional way of fun. There's not really gameplay, per se, in most of the way, but huh. I'm just clicking, man. And it's fun. <laughs> the numbers are really high. I click and I generate 158 million cookies a click. And it's fun. And that's the whole game. 153 hours of that. <laughs> and that's Cookie Clicker. And I talked about it on the podcast for more than that. <laughs> and then you give me three million guesses. <laughs> nowhere fucking close whatever you just told me i believe it i believe no it. joke that actually does sound really fun especially because as soon as you said I, i'm like at a trillion cookies i'm like all right that sounds actually kind of fun if you can get to <laughs> trillions of cookies that sounds hilarious dude the the most expensive upgrade i have unlocked is one quadrillion <laughs> and i am nowhere close but one let me leave this up let me leave this up overnight. I'll probably be halfway there by the morning. Guarantee it. <laughs> so, yeah, I, okay, I, I could have wild. so many more cookies generated. But, yeah, it, that's the type of game it is. It's just fun to watch the numbers go up. Then you buy another upgrade to make the generation rate keep going. And you just compound, compound, compound. There's a prestige system like Call of Duty where you can start over again. But it gives you, like, sugar tokens to spend on things. So it's, it's addictive. Sugar it's very addictive. 
Oh man. So yeah, that's Cookie Clicker. That's the that's the game I wasn't going to talk about. Um so I guess I'll very briefly just mention the other game that I've been playing a lot, which is another similarly like I don't know, the past 2 weeks I've been regressing to my 2008 self. Uh, so Cookie Clicker I've gone back to. I don't like uh, regressive. You're so <laughs> you're so talented. You can't regress to anything. I mean, hey, it's uh, it's new it's new for me because it's so old at this point. Um oh, I see. I, I've been going back to, do y'all remember Balloon's Tower Defense at all? Yeah. I remember her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, With the monkeys popping the balloons, Mm -hmm. been getting real hardcore into that, man. (laughs) And (laughs) I don't know why it, the Balloon's Tower Defense 5 was on sale on PS4. So I was playing that a lot. Then the Mm -hmm. sixth one got on sale on Steam. And I was like, boy, I'm picking it up. The animations look smoother in this one. Let's go. And I've put a good two or three hours into that. And it is. I mean, it's a tower defense game. It's fun. And once I've played a lot of tower defense games, especially balloons. So at this point, I've just abstracted it to the point where, no, put this one here, put this one here, put this one here, auto populate, just everything's automatic. And I just fast forward through everything. So I'm getting the rewards really quickly like that. So the game is like next to no thought, but it's just fun watching the numbers go up. Both of these games, I'm just, it's like vegetative state in my brain. Watch the numbers go up. And just boom, I, I have the strategies all laid out. And it's really big fun. I, equals good. Exactly. It's really fun. Like it in a minute here. I mean, Deathloop comes out next week. I'm hopping on that. And Life is Strange just came out. So I want to hop on that pretty soon once I get around to it. But uh I've just been having fun just playing these very low mental requirement games. Yeah, so, <laughs> they're, yeah they're a lot I'm, of fun. I'm trying to get in uh over this next weekend coming up when I'm off work, I'm gonna definitely be playing Tales and Life is Strange. Those- two games mm-hmm. i'm playing i don't have really much new to really talk about i'm still playing hades and destiny alex do you have anything fun that you've been playing um i actually um i i don't know why but i've been having this the weird urge to be in the alien universe again so i just mm-hmm. rewatched all the movies and now I, I actually i never finished alien isolation and i guess i'm in, into it because we played alien fire team so i was like oh i need to watch the movies so i we played aliens fire team Watch the movies, and now I'm back to Alien Isolation because I never finished it. And I don't know, but I'm I'm having fun. And a lot of people didn't like it because it was too stealthy, stealthy. Like you know, like eighty percent of the oh, time you're hiding in a locker. Eighty yeah, percent of the time you're either hiding in a locker or crouching with the radar. And I was like, I don't mind it. <laughs> well, I heard that that wasn't necessarily people's beef. It was the fact you did that for like 25 hours <laughs> and it was yeah. way too long. Uh, That's yeah. what I heard. Yeah the, yeah, the game is pretty long. I'm on like chapter eight, mission eight or whatever, and it's there's like 19 20... chapters. I'm only oh, halfway through the like game. 23 or something. Oh my God. I'm only God. halfway through the game. Yeah, it, it, but it's, apparently the game gets even more intense because, uh, spoilers, there's not just one alien. <laughs> but oh just, my. Yeah. Not just one? Yeah, you're telling me normally, there's aliens on this ship? Well, the base thing of the game, there was isolation. You know, you're isolated with just the one alien, but uh, it's not the case. But other than that, I mean, I, I started Life is Strange. I'm enjoying the story. It feels so much better than two already. Um, and I do want to try Tales. So that's the next thing I was going to try as well. Yeah, I'm going to jump into Life because I think I can kind of blaze through that. Whereas mm-hmm. Tales is going to be a way, way deeper. Let me let me um, ask for Tails. Is Tails an action RPG or turn based? Action. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I need to look at gameplay or something for that because mm-hmm. I, I it just I thought it was action and it looks like the type of it, similar to Persona Five where I'm like I'm never gonna play that. That's too long and not quite my niche. Mm-hmm. And then I got twenty hours into it. It was like that's have pretty you played good. Any Tails games? Never. Never have. have. Yeah. I, I remember. I remember looking at older Tales games being like, this looks like I could get into it maybe. Mm-hmm. I just, the stars got to align. And if, if it's on sale or I get it for PlayStation Plus or something, maybe I'll try it out. And the first one I ever played was Tales of Berseria, and it was like on PS4. I loved that game. I just didn't, I didn't get a chance to go back to it. But from what I played, I really enjoyed it, and it made me want to continue playing them. I tried playing Zysteria. Didn't like that one. Mm-hmm. Um, but then I saw this one, and I was like, oh, this one looks so good. But if you ever want to try to play them, um, Tales and Symphonia and I think Exilia are the two big ones that people love. Sure, Emmett will remember okay. those. Those are very memorable names. <laughs> Exilia and Fafilia, or whatever the fuck. I mean, I'll type in Tales yeah. of and one with the highest Metacritic, I'll click. <laughs> there you go. There you <laughs> yeah, go. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Um, I think I might have gotten one on Stadia for free. I'm about to look it up now. <laughs> Stadia? What the f- Yeah, I subscribe to Stadia Pro. Get at me. What? 
<laughs> Are you enjoying that? I mean, I, I don't use it all the time, but <laughs> I mean, like, I mean. <laughs> when I use it, it works. That's what matters. That's true. I, no okay. one really complains how well it works. It's just everything else about it. Look, I stick over here on Xbox where I get my achievements. Right? <laughs> and I yeah. feel actually somewhat like... Look, we, don't, we like our cloud-based gaming not working, Emmett. All right. <laughs> on Xbox. Okay. Uh, it works just fine. Okay? Barely. I tried doing it. In very it. specific circumstances. Thank you. Thank you, Emmett. Mm-hmm. You fucking try yeah. to turn that thing on. Your thing's limping like... Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I think this I is a ten times I've logged on to it, seven times it worked perfectly fine. It's about five for me, but Emmett, you I smell understand. that? Your shit detector <laughs> going off. Yeah. <laughs> I believe it works for you, but my internet ain't great. So I was say, you maybe, know. maybe 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 you gotta go get some better internet over there. <laughs> yeah, I smell my ISP shit in the bed. That's what I smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, we may be getting some Game Boy titles on the Nintendo Switch Online service. Corny. Yes. Some podcasts called Nate the Hate, and then cooperated by many places like Your Gamer and Nintendo Life. There seems to be plans on bringing the famed handheld games to the online service. No further details were given on either site. Um, of course, the Game Boy, the successor to the Game and Watch, is Nintendo's first large success in the handheld market, and was released in Japan on April twenty first, nineteen eighty nine, and it spawned a long line of Game Boys from the Game Boy Micro all the way to the Game Boy Advanced. Very quick one. I don't have any Game Boy games off the top of my head. I even want on this thing. So it's really up to you two. If you have a specific game, you're like, oh my god, I can't wait until they add Balloon Boy XF to it. I mean, Pokemon. I mean, I don't think they're, I adding, mean, they're not adding Pokemon to this. They're not yeah. adding Pokemon Emerald and stuff? No. no. They're remaking that and selling it to you for Thank you, That's true. true. That's true. Thank That's you. True. Yeah. They're not getting I mean, it to you yeah. for basically free. Exactly. Um, I mean, the, all the Game Boy games that I really care about are not going to be a part of this. Like, they're not going to put the Rocket Power Nightmare game. Oh, yeah. oh my god, such a fantastic game. Fuck yeah, yeah, I played that much. I played it so much, and I couldn't save. So I just like I know the first like three levels of that shit down pat. So literally, the two yeah. games I would have begged for are Advanced Wars. It's getting remade for sixty bucks. All right, won't be on there. Don't really care. <laughs> don't really care. Then there's not like I don't think there's a single Game Boy game that you could that I can think of. Them like, yeah, I want that. Like I know there's a lot of diehard Nintendo fans probably like there's some Mario, whatever that they want, but I, I nothing for me. Hmm. Mass Effect Five may be using an Unreal. Uh, this is coming from a job listing. Um, which is how we find out basically everything we know about any game. It's just look at the job listing. You can probably figure out what's going on. Uh, it seems no option is off the table when it comes to the new Mass Effect concerning tech specifically. This is confirmed through Venture Beats. Jeff Grubb Studios looking to uh, use a different engine in the upcoming new entry for the Mass Effect franchise. Uh, for those who don't know, Mass Effect 1 and th- uh, one through 3 were built on Unreal. While well, they did switch to Frostbite for Andromeda. And they also switched uh, to Anthem. Of course, they switched to Frostbite to save on development costs because they can use their in-house engine way cheaper than they can for the Unreal. The bad side is uh, Frostbite is not an RPG game maker, so you get weird animations like Andromeda where someone's doing this the whole time and it looks like someone grabbed their face and pulled <laughs> it like a piece of Play-Doh. Yes, and then also, mask. if you remember Anthem, uh, this was actually brought up in the uh, Venture Beat. If you remember Anthem everyone's motto was like standing it's very still and then you had to go talk to them and then they started moving versus unreal where everyone's like moving around very motionful and dancing so yep hopefully they do not use frostbite because as far as i understand i don't know if either of you have heard this but everyone i've heard from whether it be some high-end influencer person or just a dev talking frostbite's terrible for anything other than sports games yeah I mean, that's exactly what I've heard. Well, Frostbite, I think it started as the Battlefield uh, engine, sorry, so anything... Battle, Battlefield yeah. and sports is is really good for um, yeah. the, the engine. If, if it ain't a first-person shooter or like something simple like a sports game, then yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, probably shouldn't be using your Madden engine on a giant RPG open-world game. Yeah. Development costs be damned. Like, if you want to diversify, you got to diversify the tech, too. Yes. So. Very... Very true. Or just make Bioware make Madden games. I don't. <laughs> well, I do care. Like, don't do that. But don't like, do that, please, for the love of God. <laughs> prove how evil and profit, uh, profit caring you are, EA. If yeah, you really yeah. want to do that, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> EA. It does seem like EA is on the bend, where it's like they're going on the up. Like, like it mm-hmm. seems like they're only going up. 
He says, I mean, optimistically, hey. because they are remaking Dead Space, which I never thought they'd ever do that. I mean, they got to be doing better. If Apex Legends, one of the only perfect games of service games, is their one of their main pillars, then yeah, they can't, they got to be doing better than they were. Yeah, and they mm-hmm. didn't. Um, was that Unreal? That wasn't Frostbite. What, what engine? Oh no, it's it's Apex? like a modded version of like the Half Life Three engine source. Really? Or Half Life Three, Half Life Two engine. It's a modded version of the Source engine. Holy yeah, shit. Titanfall Two runs on the same thing. Titanfall mm-hmm. One, they are all modded version Source. I knew you'd know. Knew it. Yeah, I just knew. Of it, course, I, knew, I just knew it wasn't on Frostbite. I just couldn't it remember uses what it was. The Source engine. Mm-hmm. Exactly. The source heavily modified. Only source to configure yeah. with the enhancements needed to make it competitive in 2019. <laughs> Bingo. Yep. It's so weird that that works I, i'm i don't have that game dev brain so that just doesn't sound like anything that's real but it is <laughs> uh just as just a quick note because we know alan wake um does exist the remaster does exist but i just thought it was really adorable that they, it was announced on an alan wake fan site like three four days ago they just posted <laughs> the announcement and they're like stay tuned for more i was like what like when I went to click on the actual thing to read, I was like, what wild website did I just click on? Like, am I, by, am I being fished? Like, like well, they want my password now? And I looked you around and I was like, pop up everywhere. <laughs> then it's Save like, your cookies. <laughs> then it's like, <laughs> then it's like Alan Wake fans. I was like, oh, wow. Okay. This is where they put it. It's, it's really cool, actually. I liked it. Yeah. And then it looks like the Final Fantasy VII remake was found in the same back end that they found the Alan Wake Master, which. Yep, it's coming to PC. Yeah. yeah. About time. <laughs> yeah, it is about time. All right, and then we have a... This is another quick one. Um, The console generation... Uh, the current console generation shortage may last until 2023. This is from GamingIndustry.biz. According to Takeshi Kambuchi, a director in charge of semiconductors at Toshiba, they said um, basically this semiconductor problem probably is going to last until 2023 because they're not able to fulfill everyone's demands even now so we're probably still going to be looking at the exact same situation we're in currently we will next year unfortunately hey man i got my halo series x coming in oh, november lucky i'm son good of a bitch lucky son of a bitch i tried getting <laughs> super it. lucky i tried i got the elite controller i went to go i went straight to the, to the system it's gone i was like damn, damn. that's how it happens so it's I, I yeah it. i went to do the forza controller on amazon because it was five dollars off and i went to do it and it just it was gone. I was like, no, damn, mm. it'd be like that. It does. <laughs> it's it's savage out there, man. Like you don't have a second. You gotta if oh, you man. don't if you don't buy it, then it's gone. Like you have no yep. set. Like oh, can I afford this? Once you think about that, boom, it's gone. Like, yep, you, you, have exactly you gotta be ready. I literally looked. I was like, can I, oh, can I get this? I'll check. And I'll check. And when I went back, it was gone. I was like, ah oh, man. Yeah, too too responsible. You gotta, you gotta throw away all that responsibility, <laughs> all of it. Yeah, right. All right, and we have a quick one. Fire Sprite. This is um, uh, Sony has purchased Fire Sprite. This is a studio located in Liverpool, England. Uh, they've created games like Playroom, Playroom VR, Run, Sackboy Run, The Persistence, and The Persistence VR. And they're currently working on a multiplayer online shooter called Star Citizen Theaters of War. Uh, it was very a very quick blog post just mentioning, yeah, we we bought them. They're in Liverpool. Not much else they are saying. Uh, Fire Sprite then said, like, hey, yeah, we're happy to be a part of the PlayStation family. So, not too much of a story. PlayStation has been doing this these last few uh, months where they just buy a studio and then they're like, hey, they're we bought this person. Hey, they bought a shit ton of studios this year. Yeah. Yeah. Which I I don't know, which seems like Xbox is slowing down because, again, they mm-hmm. just bought Bethesda, so it makes sense, but it looks so like, like Sony's like, very... Let's let, let them come out with some games to bring back the money and then we'll buy some more. <laughs> I don't know, man. I it really scares me to see Sony buying up all these people because they ain't got Microsoft money to just keep them going forever. I don't want it to be like PlayStation Three Air, where it's like, hey, let's shut down Zipper because they're not really doing much. And yeah, let's shut down that the does people. Does mean who, the the portfolio yeah. is much tighter if you have a lot more studios? Exactly. So I'm terrified because they're firing all cylinders now, but we'll see how long it can last. That so is a hopefully good these point. guys are good. That is a good point, man. I, I honestly never really thought about it from that perspective. Yeah, like if if they do get in, yeah, they don't have Microsoft money. So like if they get bloated and Sony comes a knock and like, huh, we need money, start liquidizing. They're like, ooh, mm. okay, um, I guess we'll sell them. Sorry, like very terrified. <laughs> so yeah, I yeah I, I can see why you'd be worried, um, especially with Sony's history with some of these. Uh, students. I am hopeful they have it figured out. 
Uh, they're mm-hmm. at they're at. Uh, I'm trying to think. I can off the top of my head. Sixteen studios internally. For ish PlayStation. Ish sixteen. Yeah, for PlayStation. It's, I I think I'm roughly around there. I mean that's a. I mean that's that's a lot of studios. Um, I mean, some, some are bigger than others. I think that's even including Nixus, yeah. which you know that's not really. A- yeah, that's more. That's like a blue point, but even lower key than a blue point. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So, so not, like, they're yeah. not all full studios. Like some of them are just you know helping other ones, and Nixus is just porting stuff. Well, PlayStation has thirteen first party studios. Yeah. yeah okay. So it's, yeah. Okay. So it's thirteen. 13, Might be less. fourteen now For because first, of first. Yeah. So probably yeah. All right, and uh, oh, and really quick, I didn't bring it up when we were talking about Insomniac, but like, they got them for the cheap, bro. Oh yeah, <laughs> I can't believe who got away with highway robbery. Highway highway robbery. I tweeted this out. I was like, they they are probably easily top five devs in the world right now, e- like easily, and they were they got pay their payout was less than five hundred million dollars, I think, which is like what like what. Yeah, what? I think it was like what two hundred something 200 million, hundred something. Yeah, like I want to say two twenty nine. But uh, the the thing I'm a little bit scared of on the Sonic, another thing I didn't bring up alongside Spider Man, we we get a gap here where we're not getting any other Insomniac game for twenty twenty two. That's cool. If they start moving to like if if we get back to back Spider Man and Wolverine within ten months of each other, like we did with uh, Rift Apart and Miles. I get really afraid of that because I really don't want because every uh, Insomniac game for the last couple of years has felt similar. Like, I'm not saying they're Ah. making the same game, but like you can see the DNA, you can see the weapon wheel in all these. You can see a lot of the traversal type of aspects in a lot of these games. You can see the DNA. I really don't want us to get too used to that DNA. And then it has the Call of Duty effect where we're like, oh, they just make the same game every time because Call of Duty games are legitimately great. But we get the we get. Yeah, we get them so soon that we don't get time to miss them. So I just don't want that to happen to Insomniac. They have a good cadence. It seems like they know what they're doing so they can yeah. make a game in an efficient way. So good for them. But I hope that doesn't lead to us being like, oh, I another think it was, Insomniac game. I think it was very smart of them to not make another Spider-Man game after this. I think it was very, very smart because we are almost getting three Spider-Man games in the what? The span of... If like five f- years f- almost like like a little more than five, five years because yeah. 20 2018 was was spider-man and then we just got miles and then in presumably if it makes it in two years we're gonna have spider-man 2 so uh, i mean that's that's pretty quick especially for for dev cycles like this. Mm-hmm. now it does make sense um i remember uh, i always re- i'll always remember this quote that um sean Layden gave out like in the last couple months he was uh working there but he was like um we need to figure out how to uh make triple a games faster we can't make these bloated budgeted games and then only sell them like one time we have to figure out ways of either shorting what we're making or making the dev cycle smaller so Mm -hmm. maybe that's what they're trying to do with this stuff they're going to make a miles to their spider-man and then their wolverines and then like they're going to be short experiences that they can make money off of my only thing is will they be is is this (sighs) Presumably, they, idea. <laughs> yeah, presumably, Miles was able to be made much quicker because they could recycle the assets from Spider-Man. Hmm. So I'm curious if Wolverine will be the similar lifespan that we heard f- about Miles being in development to it coming out. I would assume yeah. it would take longer because it's almost completely new stuff. I don't think I mean, we'll get to Wolverine until yeah. maybe the latest... Uh, halfway through 2023, maybe 2024. Wait, wait. You mean earliest? Er, yeah, earliest. Yeah, okay. we won't. Well, I was like, yeah, yeah. You're fucking. Yeah, crazy. no. Early, earliest, earliest is yeah. earliest holiday 2023. Earliest. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because they did not only did they not give a date, they had no gameplay. In it literally no. just said it just said literally in development, meaning they're probably still fucking getting all the mocaps. I still like don't... three months ago they came to the conclusion Wolverine, and then they had that trailer probably. made. So yeah. I think 2025 is probably when we get Wolverine. I think yeah, mm. probably. Okay, that's enough room. That's enough room then. Yeah. If, so if it was 2023, yeah. 2023. we're getting Spider Man 2023. Yeah, and I bet it's early too. I bet it's like early, really summer. I feel. I, I just feel like it. I, I like if they're confidence. ready to announce it now. I'm March or April. Yeah, I could see. I could see like March or April, definitely. Because if around spring, yeah. 
if they're confident enough to announce it now and have us have it in the back of our heads for the next year or so, they're not going to wait until the fall for that. I just don't see it happening. As long as they don't delay it. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens in Insomniac. But, what are we going to hmm. be getting in 20? Because Sony likes their two big games in a year. What else would we get in that year? Which, which year? 2023? Yeah. Whatever Sony Ben's working yeah. on, I bet 2023. Sony Ben, yeah. Ben. I was hope I expected we'd see whatever they were working on today because really? I figured that was that's, yeah. That's I figured that's idea. way out. That's not a bad idea. Figures yeah. way out. Yeah, I hope it's cool. Whatever it is, uh, I mean, they're so pissed. They I mean, were they, were so gonna, they were gonna they were gonna do Days Gone too, and they were like, nope. They were so pissed. <laughs> they're oh, doing a whole so new many IP. people left because of that. You know, there's so much bad blood with mm-hmm. those people because they 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 you can literally tell that month. That they all pitched it and they got the no. And they were like, bye. And they all left. Yeah. That's so sad. Like dozens yeah. of people left. That's yeah. so sad. What is your stance on Days Gone, Emmett? I think Days Gone is a quality video game. I think it's good. I think it is not interesting enough to be as long as it is. That's my I thing. I 100% agree to that. It's structured like three seasons of a TV show rather than one long continuous story. Yeah. Now, which far- favorite part was yours, Emmett? Was it when he got to the cutscene? And then walked away <laughs> along with the bike, talking to the girlfriend, or the cutscene where they played the wife on your back, but you didn't control anything. It was just a motorized cutscene. Did you like yep. that one too? How many fucking times do we got to see this cutscene <sighs> where it just takes over all control and we're just watching a cutscene, but it's in gameplay? Like, oh my god, it's awful. And then I can't. Yeah, he didn't like. He, he didn't enjoy Days Gone as much as I did. Yeah, I mean, I respect Days Gone. I think it's a, I, do too. I think it's a fine game. I think it's like a solid seven or so because it's just it's too slow in plotting to be yeah. an open world game, and the story doesn't justify it being this slow. The way it's they not told enough. the narrative and plot got in the way of the gameplay, which was the best part of the game. Like when yeah. when you when you when you have the seventh flashback in like four hours, and it's the same flashback where you're kind of just walking around in mm-hmm. like li- lily fields talking with your wife. Like it's like that's enough. Yeah, like, why is this gameplay? Just have <laughs> yeah. this be a five-minute scene and Thank then be you. done. Thank you. <laughs> what is going oh, on boy. with this? Anyways, I've, this is one of our longest shows ever. Almost one of our uh, Thank you so much for joining us, Emmett. What and where can we find you? Oh, well, what is hard to answer, but where <laughs> I can answer. Um, you guys can find me, of course, you, you've seen it on screen the entire time, at EJSpun61. You can find me on Twitter, you know, follow all my escapades and whatnot. Uh, VGU.TV is the site that I write for. That's where you can find the Players Club podcast that I host. And his uh, Donda can... review. Oh, yeah, the Donda review is out. Yeah, uh, if, you, if you're... Review. I appreciate you reading it. Fantastic I'm surprised that so many so many people have actually read it. Oh, like, don't be surprised. It's too long. <laughs> You're this humble man. I love the opener, by the way. The opener was the best part. Oh, thank you. Wow. Okay. Oh, I actually get personal in my reviews more often than. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. I loved that little snippet into you. I would love to one day have a full interview show with you and just talk, just talk about you for a while. Okay. Okay. But uh, well, yeah. I'll write that in the calendar. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, but yeah, con- yeah, that that. Like, that fucking album was wild, by the way. Like, just really quick, yeah. really quick. That that was Kanye West, and, and he said he fired his editor. He was like, "No more. It's just me. Yeah, I'm gonna write this. This is my thing." Uh, by God. the way, halfway through, I'm gonna send to heaven. Don't worry about it. I'll be back like the next day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back for three more bonus tracks. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, God. Also, but, shout yeah. out to you for editing the album for on Spotify. Oh yeah, that was such a good idea. I I was like, oh my god, that is such a good idea. Like that yeah, is when I read when I was like, you know, what, let me try to like envision this as like a new listen, and I re listened to it all. I was like, oh, this is so much better. Holy fuck, <laughs> this is mm-hmm. so much better when it's condensed and it's not that Kanye like crazy meandering. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. But it was so that was so good. I, I, props to you. I I completely fucked up your whole thing. But VGU <laughs> is where we find you. Where else? Yeah, uh, VGU, that's where you can find the Donda review if you care about hip-hop, care about Kanye West at all. Uh, a lot of stuff there. I I really have an urge to go back to streaming because I haven't streamed in a while because, you know, all the hate rate stuff has me a little bit nervous. Yeah, but, yeah, that is unfortunate. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, yeah. It doesn't look like Twitch has literally done anything. So it, they seem like they're tr- they've been talking about it for a while. It seems like they're close to doing something because I know, uh, what is it, Mary Kiss, she works down there. So she's been talking about it a little bit. 
they might be ready soon. So if they do talk about something soon, I really want to get back on there. Uh, Nickelodeon All Stars is about to come out, or All Star Brawl is about to come out. So I got a lot of Nickelodeon games to run through. I bought both the kart racers the other day. Like I'm ready to get into it, dude. <laughs> when they released that roster, what was your first thoughts? Oh, I was losing my mind. I was yeah. like, oh, is this real fucking life? I can't I, believe. This. I was like, I'm playing Cora. Did I watch the uh, Alex? Did you see this? Did you see the? Uh... The trailer they showed of SpongeBob Patrick fighting uh oh yeah <laughs> uh, who was they it? fighting each other they were just wave yeah, dashing all over the place. yeah yeah the wave dashing like what is this <laughs> what is this <laughs> no, some melee mo- some Super Smash Brother melee motherfuckers went and made a SpongeBob game like oh, sorry a Nickelodeon game and it's crazy it's wild Alex. oh yeah. no I remember yeah I, I yeah remember you remember that, this yeah. when we're done with this Alex, you he, get, like, he, gets, he, he gets like beamed off the fucking side <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's wild stuff I can't yeah. believe that. I shout out to them. I always say if you're gonna Dudosity, rip yeah. someone off all the way, you rip them off all the way, and they did it. They ripped them off all the way. This is a Smash Brothers clone. Ludosity, so. they're really about to win best fighting game of the year. <laughs> like dead ass. <laughs> I can see this happening. Like if they don't win it, they're gonna be in that conversation. It's gonna be the goofiest shit ever. And I, I don't love know it. what we need it. to do to get this at Evo, but we gotta figure it out, <laughs> Emmett. We have it will to. be there. We have it to will fig- be there. I, we need to make sure though. Ooh. Competitive yeah. Smash players are already looking at this in a competitive light. Like it's already. Don't happening. do this to me. Don't do this to oh, me. Are man. you serious? Cat dog's my main. Yes, literally. Cat dog's my main. Yes, I want to <laughs> hear that. I want to <laughs> hear that be said seriously on a stage. Like Bro. I want that so bad. Cat dog is my main. Nigel Thornberry. Who's your main? Cat. Who's your main? <laughs> oh, I main Cora. <laughs> or down smash is wild bro i play a mean powder toast man let me tell you <laughs> let me mean powder toast. you want to see a stimpy fool i'll fucking show you a stimpy bro oh my god that game is so wild that's gonna be the best memes it has to be it has to amen be. there's gonna be some crazy memes what the fuck were we talking about uh we're just wrapping up yeah yeah v- vgu yeah. thank you so much emmett for you know where to find me on whatever <laughs> whatever this was this was so much fun thank you so much for taking your time with us, emmett. Um, oh, yeah, no problem alex mm. shut up anyways <laughs> I, alex you look like steve jobs because when the beard when the beard is covering the collar, yeah, see now yeah. it doesn't. But when it covers the collar, looks like you got the turtleneck that the Steve Jobs <laughs> yeah. gentleman had. Rest yeah. in peace. Like Michael Fassbender as Steve Jobs specifically. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Really dedicated to the role. I like it. Hey, I love Michael Fassbender. He's such a good actor. Thank you so much for joining us, Achievers. You know where to find us. If you made it two hours, you know where we are patreon.com if you want to give us a buck that's pennies a day uh, hit us up with uh, any messages or corrections and the comments below we answer all of them <gasps> and don't forget go chief go chief go chief